Oh baby, when you feel the itch, what is there to do? Brainstorm what to do about the itch? <laughs> I don't think so. I don't think so. Go on the internet? Hey internet, what should I do about the itch? Nah, 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 nah. Oh, <laughs> when you feel the itch, there is only one thing to do. And that thing is so simple, I will elucidate it for you in just a moment after I adjust my camera. The simplest thing to do when you got an itch is to scratch it. Welcome to the show, everybody. We're going to be playing a little bit of Player Unknown's Battlegrounds today. I've been working out for 18 months, and I think that I am ready to finally put my newfound physiology to the test with Malph and Justin in the high octane thrill ride battle royale the first and original battle royale ever made brendan green's player unknown battleground i'm prepared i'm ready so is everybody else hello mouth oh god oh jeez hello what's, what's the problem <laughs> you startled me i'm looking at my rewards and you're in oh. my ear <laughs> Your, you know what your reward is? Mm. Your real reward? Friendship? Having the opportunity to play uh, Player Unknown's Battlegrounds with one of the best Player Unknown's Battlegrounds players of all time, HC Justin. I was actually going to say you. I remember that clip of the guy by the cliff and you were just like, bop, 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 and he was dead. I have that clip. You know, dead ass. I could probably bring that clip up right now. Do it. So if you just give me one moment, I bet I can do it. So it'll be, you go desktop, Twitch Clips 2019. Then it would be, um, what did I call it here? The Greatest Gamer August 6th, 2019. Here you go. We're gonna need smokes. I've, I've got running. many smokes. Yeah, I see him at the tree. Got him twice. Did you? Oh! Hey, it's not an oh, issue. It's a gamer Did you change your history. mic at all? Oh, oh, oh baby! Oh, oh, oh. Sorry, I was watching the clip. There's a. That's okay. I did not change my mic. Huh. Do I, I sound uh, bad to you? I sound low. You're loud. I sound loud to you. I mean, I can lower you down. I've, not... I've changed nothing. My levels look normal to me. Okay. No worries. I just adjusted it. I just didn't know if maybe there was a change and you weren't aware of it. Maybe I changed something. It's, I mean, it's, anything's possible in today's day and age. Yeah. The music is way too loud. Oh, dude, nice shirt. Thank you. I mean, you know, listen, mouth shirt is a classic, but... You gotta support our boy. I mean, there's a bootleg mouth shirt. What do you mean? You know, it's not really your shirt. It's just a shirt that looks like a shirt you would wear. And then there's the real HC Justin shirt right here. I can't see. I can't see. There we go. Let's go. Lower volume. I mean, you seem, well, is your chat saying to lower your volume? <clears throat> they say on your stream I sound fuller, which, whatever that means. I, don't know. I lowered you a touch, but they're saying you're good. Happy to hear it. Is it one of those things, you know, sometimes it's like I've had it where it captures like webcam audio and stuff like that mm. instead. I hope not. Mm. I hope, like, you know, let me... Because I just recorded like a whole podcast. I would hope that Daniel would tell me if that was the case. <laughs> well, he's usually sorting that out himself. Let me see. Voice and video. It's using the it's using the right microphone right now. It is using the right microphone. Mm, you sound good to me, brother. Dude, I'm glad to hear it. Good. Just gonna send Justin a little ping, a little little non-threatening ping. It says, "Ready when you are, baby." Malf, how often do you do you honk at people in your car? 
in real life. Yeah. Um, I did the other day. Like, if somebody cuts me off or legit, if they do something dangerous, Fair and enough. if they're like at the front and the light goes green and they haven't moved in three seconds, I reckon they're probably checking their yeah. phone, and I will, I will honk at that. Dude, I got so, so yesterday we were driving back. And it's a two-lane road. I was in the right lane. There was an SUV right beside me, one-to-one. -one. Right lane is about to be construction in, like, 200 meters, right? Mm -hmm. It's going to be closed. I see it coming. I speed up to try to get in front of the car that's directly beside me. She yeah. speeds up to match me. I'm like, that's fine. You got an ego situation here. That's okay. I slow down so that she can go ahead and I can sneak in behind her. She slows down, too. To, to match my speed so I just can't get into the lane before my lane ends. So I hit the gas as hard as I can, got in front of her, and then she honked at me. And I was like, what do you expect, lady? That's just, you're just being a jerk. Certified jackass. Certified jerk move. And I gotta tell you this. I honestly, in a parking garage like a week ago, I gave someone the finger while I was driving. Y'all, let's go. And I, I thought I felt bad for like at least ten minutes afterwards, and I was like, literally in my head, I was like, "What if they're waiting for me, and when I get back, they shoot me and kill me?" The the thought could not exit my brain. It's plausible, but because I was pulling out of my spot, and then a car like whipped around the corner without checking the mirrors, and just made it so I couldn't get out of my spot until they had finished their parking job. I waited till they parked, pulled out on my spot, and then hit him with the middle finger in the rearview mirror. And then I was Let's like, go. skirt, and you like got, turned the corner as fast as I could and was like, get out of here. Hello, Justin. I think that's fully, fully justified. Speaking of Yeah, that's some justified finger giving. I'm still, I was worried though if they had like a dash cam and they were going to like find me. <laughs> I'm still worried, honestly. <laughs> Oh, hey. Wow, y'all looking handsome. Dude, yeah, great minds Thank think you. alike. <laughs> Something Just about your it. outfit makes me highly socks. uncomfortable, though. <laughs> the socks and the, the loafers. It is. It's I'm the really socks and shoes. The glasses. Dude, the glasses I, are wonderful. That's exactly honestly, what I'm putting on. I put this on because I, I was playing the other day, and I was like, I need a good like throwback outfit. <laughs> this, was, this was my getup for a while, but let me show you the real, the real beauty, if I could find it. Hold on, hold on. There it is. That's the one. I'm activating. Oh, now. dude! The <laughs> Luchador's mask. He's eating up. <laughs> oh, Rayo. Uh, well, no, what's Ray Mister Mysterio Junior? Right. We're not supposed to talk about him. He killed the guy. Oh right, Ooh. yeah. Didn't he? He broke his neck or something. That. Yeah. No, not on purpose. Also, well, you might want to switch it to three man squad. Oh, oh okay. okay. Though, unless you want a rando. You know what? I, no, I do not. Now that I think about it. <laughs> <laughs> three man squad, random map. And Let's while go. we queue, I'm going to send you squad stream invites. Yo. I would be honored. There you go. And there you go. And it's just that easy. Makes sense. Yeah. I definitely like... Yeah. I'm sorry. It's therapy. There you go. There you go. Now we're good to go. Now we're cooking. Cooking with gas. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, you to give someone the finger. I, I've become a much more, I don't want to say aggressive driver, because I still drive pretty conservatively, but a much more angry driver. For sure. Honk a lot. I go, look at this asshole uh, giving people the finger now and then. Very sarcastically saying things like, it's not like you could turn right on a red light. It's not like you could do yeah. that. It's just, you know, you're controlling a vehicle that is very easy to use it to kill other people. Yeah. And yeah. Stuff. And That's I true. just like, I there's no, it's not, it just, it, people are just, uh, you gotta, you gotta let them know it's not okay. You know? Dude, the, the new one that's getting me, and it happens literally every day that I drive, is uh, two-lane road, left lane at an, at an intersection is for turning left, and then the right lane is straight and right. 
Mm -hmm. Get in the right lane. Light turns green. I'm like, why isn't this guy driving? Why isn't this guy driving? You know why he's not driving? Because he's turning right, but he's allergic to using a signal light. He's waiting for people to cross the road. (laughs) And I'm just sitting there like an idiot wondering why we're not going. Oh, man. I uh, actually, uh, that happened yesterday when I was out because, you know, I had the power outage and it's like, frig this. And um, so I was out and driving a crappy tire because I needed to get some stuff. (laughs) And there's a freaking, you know, left turn. But the guy in front of me, he was waiting and waiting and waiting. And I was, if I knew he was turning left, I would have gotten into the right lane. And of course, left. yeah. He didn't wait to use the signal to the last second, and I'm stuck, and now I can't cra- move over you're trapped to the right. behind him. Yeah. And yeah. I was just like, oh, I hit F by accident. <laughs> uh, I will do. I was going to go vaguely north. All right. Okay. Yeah. My bad, boys. <laughs> <It's no Yeah>. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, I don't know. Use your it. signals. It's, it's not like uh, an yeah. optional thing. It's not hard, you know? It's what, it blows my mind when people don't use them because it's like I feel like it's one of the things that just gets ingrained in you. Yeah, like, I, can't I can't not do it. Turn the wheel without doing it. <laughs> yeah. If you ask me what side of the steering wheel the signal light is on, I honestly don't think I could even tell you. But it's just <laughs> so locked into my brain. It's on the right side. Yeah, yeah. Right? Uh, not mine. I had, someone, uh, I had someone beeping and giving me the finger today. And I know this is going to seem like kind of beyond parody. But there was a car behind me. Minding my own business, driving at the speed limit, doing nothing weird. Someone's beeping, beeping, beeping. They go around and flip me off. <laughs> and I'm like, all right. And then I saw the uh, one of the greater bumper stickers I've ever seen, which is uh, Smokey the Bear. And he's saying, only you can prevent socialism. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yep. Do you have a <laughs> bumper sticker on your car that indicates? I have several Bernie bumper stickers. <laughs> okay. Now it's it's becoming clear. Yeah. <laughs> wow. It's it's I was like this. This is just. It's like a Twitter moment in real life. But he passed you, so he beat you. He, he proved his I was, argument. I was definitely the alpha in the situation. <laughs> I respected traffic laws, and I didn't know they were a dickhead until they were too far to give the finger back to. Yeah. You know. I, I, uh, I don't want to get involved in that stuff because I genuinely am like, I'm worried about being murdered. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't think it's a high percentage chance. I mean, I don't want to get into a fight to begin with, but I definitely don't want, like when I gave those people the finger, I was like, what, what am I going to do if when I come back, they're like, they knock on my window and they're like, hey, asshole. I guess I'm just going <laughs> to stay in my car and make them shoot me through the driver's side window. There you go. I, um... This happened last year, but I remember it because hilarious. This so this guy he's, he's in his big truck, uh, and he just throws like a a, a bottle oh. out the window, like he'd finished drinking a bottle of water or something like that, and they just chucked it out the window. And there's this guy on a on a bicycle, you know, to the right of him, and he saw it, and it happened like at a stoplight too. So the guy picks it up, and then. And then the light goes, and the guy on the bike catches up, gets beside him, and the truck's window was still down. So he uh, he tried to throw it in the window while it was moving, and it ended up like hitting the frame, and then it bounced back and hit the <laughs> cyclist in the face. And I was like, I felt so bad because like the cyclist was like trying to save Earth. He's in the right. He's in the right, but he still got dunked on real hard in a lot of ways. And I don't even think the guy in the truck even like knew <laughs> that it happened. Yeah. And I'm oh, just witnessing yeah. it the whole time. I felt so bad. <sighs> That's uh I feel you. Yeah. And, and do and you know, as long as we're having the most boomer conversation of all time about being angry <laughs> while driving, it's like same thing like uh you know, I'll drive to the gym in the morning and there'll be construction and, you know, there'll be one of the, I don't know what you call the, the job, but the job where they flip the sign and go like, hey, drive slow or like, don't drive at all. Yeah. They hit me. Yeah, with, yeah. They hit me with a stop sign. I got passed by like eight cyclists. They just kept going. And what I was like, punch? I didn't, I didn't know you could just do that. 
No, you can't. That's the <laughs> thing is like if you're on a bicycle, most places, right? It's like you gotta. It's the same rules on bicycle as it is for vehicles. Supposed to right? be, yeah. Yeah, that includes. What the fudge is this? Inta interact file box. <laughs> yeah. oh, that's like disc, a com disc community, community rewards. If you loot that, it goes into a pool of everyone looting them, and everyone gets. Them. Oh, oh, I nice. looted it. You're welcome. <laughs> You're welcome, gamers. I'm gonna get you that tan pants. <laughs> or whatever the reward is. I only have a nine millimeter pistol uh, with an extended magazine. I'd say if y'all want to work your way towards me, I think I've looted everything between you and me. Okay, which is unfortunate. I'm on but I'm heading to heading to a place that should be all right. Okay, yeah, yeah. I'm on my last building. Uh, ooh, I'll take a. Well, do, it doesn't. To be honest, me having a good gun or a bad gun doesn't change too much. <laughs> really, I'm just I'm just here for the conversation. Corey, you don't have to. I'm not. I know it's not all cyclists. <laughs> I I agree. Oh yeah, yeah. There's good. There's good cyclists out there. There's who... in every mode of transit of all time. There are bad people and good people. There's elevator etiquette. There's pedestrian etiquette. There's <laughs> cyclist etiquette. There's driver etiquette. How do you etiquette. feel? about escalator etiquette oh, I'm oh very big, passionate oh dude it. don't get me started the left <laughs> side is for moving yeah the uh -huh. right side is for sitting and grooving and people who stand in the left side oh, the, 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 uh, hey babe um, bo, bo, bo. <laughs> i get so mad like i don't know i i feel like that's the a universal language that that not for everybody sure. I feel a great amount of pressure to always be walking up escalators. Yeah. I feel like even though I respect the right side policy, I'm a big dude. And I feel like it would be uncomfortable for someone to have to like shimmy on past me. So I'm like, you know what? I got to just go up this thing. Like a moderate pace. I'm not, I'm not screaming up the escalator to make way for someone. Yeah, but... I, I hear you. Yeah. I, I mean, I get it's not cyclists, it's not drivers. It's really just me. Wait, when I'm walking down the street, and then there's slow traffic on the rightmost side of the sidewalk. I'm like, what are you doing, uh, idiot? Like, it's like the road. Why don't you just just treat everything like the road? Yeah. <laughs> just just yell beep at people. The word beep. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, I still think, and I've I've said this before, but I believe it 100. percent There should be two honks. Angry honk. Oh yeah, which friendly is, honk. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Angry honk is like, we're going to throw down. And then little polite honk, which is like, hey, I don't know if you're paying attention, but you should. Yeah. So I'm the type, like, I like to do, so I, I try to always create a polite honk by gently tapping at yes, my steering wheel, but it's never tap. enough. So you wind up like rapid fire doing like tap, 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 like hoping you hit it. But then you might do a couple of beeps or like sometimes you can misjudge it and you just go real hard on the first one. You're like, oh, no, I like a dick now. Yeah, I look angry. It's just not true. How often and do you do the wave, a... though? Do you do you wave a lot? Somebody uh, lets you in traffic. Yeah, constantly. Oh, okay, me too. Always waving. Also, there's a scar in this building if someone wants it. I got a company by me, boys. Oh, okay. I hear a vehicle. Yeah. I already have a scar. Yeah, shoot at him. Yeah. I'm... Get some. Very far, but I'm shooting at them. Oh, they're on. They're Smokey the Bear. No, oh, they're fleeing the scene. <laughs> they're fleeing. They went. Uh, yeah, they're gone. They just went way down the mountain and toward. Way out there. They're lucky. You seen them out there still? I saw like no. a white car, <laughs> right around there. Yeah. Plain oh, there's a beautiful, precious gift out there. It's not too far. I don't know. Yeah. I mean, awesome. that's kind of the direction they went, so... Yeah, that's kind of where they went. Just lead the way, dude. All right. I basically don't know what Head I'm doing. for that mark. Okay. We'll okay. head towards the old blue mark. Let me get your scraps first. Yeah, there's there's some things around. This, this three-story here sucked, and there's nothing good in it. The one next to me. There's a level two vest in there. That's That's all I got. <laughs> Does anyone have a gun that could use an 8x? Do you nope. want it? 
I got a disc gun and a uh, oh, pizza pie. A, Same. a vector. Yeah. I have a disc gun and a scar. What I mean. Oh my oh god, no. dude. I don't know. I still, this game still runs so bad for me. I know it's my fault, but that doesn't make me any happier about it. Is it, uh, Ooh, have a V sync or anything like that? Well, I guess that only yeah, affects say, the stream usually, right? Have you gone through your video settings recently? You know, do you think they possibly reset during, uh, oh. Oh. Absolutely. Okay. <laughs> I, a couple times a year, they, they all default to ultra for me, and it's real bad. Settings. Yeah, I've had, had that happen with games too, where they'll do an update and it resets it to like 4K video. Yeah. But oh, I don't are you want that vehicle that. again? I think. Oh, it's That's you. Me. Hello. Hello, boys. Just stunting in. I love it. Do you need? I got a suppy for a DMR sniper. I don't have a sniper yet. Okay. I'm hoping to find. All right, I got N64 textures now. There you go. That's the ticket. I know I've said this before. I kind of think uh, this game looks better on very low. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I'm on very low. I, I think I keep like textures at medium or high even, but like everything else at very low. I don't think it looks that bad. I like it. I mean, that you know, I'm looking Pretty at this good. thing. If you took it yeah, away yeah. from the side of the house, I wouldn't know what it was for sure. Oh, yeah. Absolutely not. <laughs> it's serviceable. Yeah, yeah. It's it's not all bad. Here, let's uh let's let's head towards that blue marker. Mm I should maybe not. Let's see what we got. That blue marker is still not bad. So we can go to the fine city of Fraglanis. The lost city. Go ahead, lead the way. Let's go. I'm heading there. Got my swimmies on. <laughs> are uh are y'all familiar with rice balls? Yes. Like uh, the Aaron Sini or uh, Onigiri? No, what's the one? It's the Italian one, right? The Italian one, yeah, yeah. Italian rice balls. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's like uh, rice peas and ground beef. And oh, I do not know them. They're good. It's Aaron Sini, Aaron Sini. I'm I'm close, but I'm uh what is it? I'm not sure. <laughs> they're yeah, it's like rice balls and they're they're fried. Are you trying to yeah. say pepperoni? Yeah. yeah. Aaron no. Senior or something like that. Yeah. Something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I always just call them rice balls. <laughs> yeah. yeah, no, that is the, the proper name for them, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. I am familiar. Yeah. They're delicious. They are. Why wouldn't they with, be? It's made with risotto? I, I just made I, I had one today. That is the whole story. <laughs> I had one and I'm happy about Was it. Was it like a special kind of flavor or just like straight up like rice? You know, like, you know, you know what I'm saying? Like, was it? Because you, <laughs> you can put stuff with them. So it, it reminded me just of the ones I used to get at like, like any old like home wall Italian pizza place in New York. I don't know if they all follow the same kind of formula, but it tasted mm. just like that. It was, it was extremely good. I had some Italian food within the past 24 hours as well. Really? Which is not oh. common for me, to be honest. So I was going to say, get? yeah. We went to a uh, nice pasta restaurant in Vancouver called, mm -hmm. and you're going to laugh. But the restaurant's name is Ask for Luigi. Oh, oh, oh I love okay. it. Yeah, I'd eat there. But it was really good. Uh, I had like a uh, pappardelle like a, with wild boar, and it was delicious. Ooh. It was fantastic. Yeah, those are good. That's, I mean, oh. I'd eat there. There's a place. I don't think it's open now, but I've been there before. It was in a time place just called Hey Lucy. Oh, I was like, God. Yeah, I don't know what it means, but they got a wood-fired oven, and there's the pizza's good. They got tiramisu. That was tasty, too. That's my That's constant good. Italian food struggle, is almost every Italian restaurant has good pizza in a wood-fired mm. oven now. But yeah. I feel like a child ordering a personal pizza at an adult restaurant. <laughs> so, like, yeah. this actually happened, Absolutely. like... Uh, we went to, Kate was like, oh, we got to go to this pasta restaurant we went to when I was, you know, in middle school. It's so good. So we went, and I couldn't really find anything on the menu that I liked. And I was like, I think I'm just going to get a pizza. And she was like, you shouldn't get a pizza. You should get the pasta. And I was like, ah, you're right. 
I always like get the, which I know is not pasta pasta, but like it's at every Italian place, so, mm -hmm. and I love it too. I don't know if that makes me a villain or something, but <laughs> <laughs> it's just it's nice, and I love the texture. They're like little bite size. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you, you're talking about gnocchi. No, gnocchi. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I don't. I don't know. Nyak, nyak, nyak. Oh man! Did you see uh, Babs's tweet the other day by chance about tapioca? I did not. No. <laughs> oh no. I, well, I'm happy you did. I like. I, I don't know why I'm bringing it up because it just makes me look like a complete fool. But uh, we went to a boba tea place. Oh, I've never had boba tapioca tea. pearls. So I never had boba tea before, and I got one with mango pearls in it, which okay. were delicious. Yo, it was great. But she she went to go. She's like, here, you want to try one? And I was like, yeah. She's like, why are you wincing at this? And I was like, isn't that shit fish eggs? Oh <laughs> my god. And then she laughed at me and then roasted me on Twitter. Oh <laughs> my god. I mean, deservedly so. Yeah. Yeah. Dude. Dude there's a fight over this. It was box. fish eggs. I didn't like them, that said. That is good. Yeah, I don't like the pearls That's that much fair. either, but that is hilarious. I do like them, but yeah, I, I know a lot. <laughs> I just, uh, I don't think it's controversial. I kind of just mm. don't like bubble tea in general or boba tea. It's too a little, really like a little the, too sweet for me. Is what it comes down fair. to. Yeah. Well, like I, 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 I don't. I guess what I got isn't considered bubble tea at all because I got like it was like it was like mango, some kind of lime juice, and something else with mango pearls, yeah, well, like a... and there was no no. Mm. Uh, I, I definitely didn't enjoy like whatever your standard. Milky tea was. <laughs> I tried to sip. wasn't for me. Also, I don't know if this is true because I saw it on TikTok, but mm -hmm. it was a bubble tea employee, and they said uh, that a regular, like normal sugar bubble tea has sixty-eight grams of sugar in it. And I was like, Oh wow, wow, wow that's crazy, dude. That is crazy. That's Here, like let's, a uh, let's scoot. Okay, okay. Oh, uh, let's uh. There's Let's try to get there. to like those houses over there on the blue. Just sneak our way across. You got it. Do some swimming. It's gonna be... <sighs> yeah, I've been I've been away for a while now. Like I, I still have the occasional soda, which I shouldn't. Like that's the one. Like if we sit down at a place to eat, I'd like a coke tonight, mm. <laughs> and then I just feel bad about it. But uh. My go-to now is three quarters on sweet and tea, mm -hmm. and then just a little splash of lemonade. Oh, it's dude, it's so Arnold Palmer, but oh, you just need, just, you just need a splash. That. It's so good. It's so good. Like I buy a little quart of lemonade, it'll last me like a month, and I just throw a little splashes of it in with unsweetened tea. It's my favorite. Yeah, I'm so, with it. That's I, what my parents will do. They'll they'll fill like, like cup with like seventy percent. Sparkling water and then like a little splash of fruit juice. Mm. You know, I gotta good. try that. I, speaking of sparkling, water, I, I I'm sure I've I've preached about how good polar seltzer is here before. Yes, I, I don't know if I have. I, it, they have line. They have uh, sparkling polar seltzers now, which I don't see the difference at all. But I got mango limeade. It's the best drink I think I've ever had in my life. But Blows my mind. It's so good. Highly recommended. You see that hand glider up there? Look at him. What? what? There's a flying man in a hand glider. Oh, wow. What? God, I There's just saw that stuff for the first time. They're, They're dueling. From up there? Yep. Yeah. So we should shoot them? Yes, but we should get to where we're going first. Okay. Let's get to this blue marker That's and then we'll start lighting them up. We've got to do I, some um, Yeah, I'm not like usually if i have soda it's just like a coke zero or something but in the summertime when i'm i'm feeling the ginger ale i also will get cranberry juice and you do oh, like yeah. a quarter cranberry juice three quarters ginger ale something like that whatever your preferred ratio is it's so freaking refreshing yeah, that, that is fantastic yeah are you all ready to light up this this call uh, let's I think they're doing a little swing back I think they're on gone. the ground. I'm ready whenever you are. Let's see if another one comes like close overhead mm -hmm. and then okay. we're just going to obliterate it. 
Yeah, I'm 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 a red. I'm not boy. sure if they explode. But like they definitely go on fire fast. It's like a real vehicle that you can get in and fly. Yeah, and I, I don't understand. <laughs> oh, here, look, see that one right there? Yeah. Off to the west. Are I'm we just going. Gonna... Mm, he's having struggles. It seems. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, they're, they're out of here. <laughs> Looks like he crash landed. Yeah, there's another crashed one over there. I think we could just uh, live in these homes. <laughs> there's another one coming from kind of that direction, the south. What's <laughs> it's been a very strange game? It's extremely strange. Like I don't. I remember when they had that on the workshop or whatever they call like their arcade mode thing, and I was like, ah, whatever. That's weird, I guess. And then when they were like, we're gonna add it to the game, I was like, what is wrong with that? <laughs> can you shoot Who from the this? glider? You absolutely can. Oh my god. I is haven't it, found one yet or driven it. I, I kind of want to. Is there any like real advantage to them? Like, are they balanced or is it just like a fun thing to do, but you're probably going to get killed using one? I think a fun thing to do, but you'll probably get killed. I, okay. I know they go down very easily. It seems. Hmm. Oh, the circle moved again. Uh, let's just start taking it on in. We got to, we kind of got to head up to where that glider yeah. was going, unfortunately. Oh, easy. There's a plane. Three, two, one drop. Y'all, I called it. Wow. There you go. It's two drops, no less. So I had to do some triage on my settings so that I could fix the audio. I'm pretty sure I probably sounded like a robot. Yeah. A little no, you still do, but you know, it's okay. As, it's as long fun. as you guys sound good mm. on my end, that's all I care about. That's fair. <laughs> also, a friend of mine says they spawn on the edges of the map so that it's easier to get in if you're screwed by the circle. They don't blow up and kill the occupants, but the engine gets disabled and you can safely glide to the ground. <laughs> oh. Okay. Okay. All right. These houses might be a little hot. I'm hoping to just kind of sneak right up. Oh, yep. There's a landed hand glider <laughs> right in front of this house. I'm just going to wait behind this one. Oh, I don't have any nades. I, wish I, did. I have a smoke. I it. see one. Of, oh, they're yeah, going for those double down. drops. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just going to try to run right up behind them. Yeah. There's at least three. Yeah, I see them. They haven't looked at us yet. No. Nope. Still good. I'm pretty much okay. prepared to pop off. Ready? Yeah. Let's go. He's throwing grenades. Watch out. He did indeed throw a grenade. <gasps> it landed on me. I had no idea. I'm down behind this. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to get you. Okay. okay, okay. Sorry, I restarted. I, I'm not used it's to it. Not. I'm sorry. It's been a minute. It's fine. It's been it's a fine. bit. I'm going to slam a full med kit. Oh, oh, he's looking at us. He's looking at us. Oh, he got me. He's super wounded in the house, though, Mouth. Two of them. I got one. Yeah, yeah I'm there's... going in the house. Two in there. No, there's another guy. He oh. flanked me. Oh, good try. Good try. He flanked the flanker. Oh. This is a very valiant effort. I did. I saw. I saw him throw a nade. Heard the nade bounce. I'm like, I'm fine. <laughs> it was between my legs. Uh, one person on the loading screen has a rocket launcher. That's yeah, an RPG, Brian. <laughs> I don't think that's in the game. Okay. Strange. Yeah. If it is, I just straight up haven't seen it yet, but like I've put a lot of hours in since <laughs> yeah. the last patch. Yo, I know this is crazy, but I'm actually still shaken from that encounter. Dude! I did. <laughs> it's still, it, it's a good adrenaline rush, man. I'm telling you, I've been feeling the itch for like, on Tuesday, instead of playing board games, I've been going to PUBG underscore support and then going, <laughs> is there maintenance? There's maintenance. <laughs> I, it's been so hard to find a way to work it in, but the, the itch is back. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, I mean... So, have either of you tried the team deathmatch? I have not, no. no. If you would like to at any point, there's still instant cues for it, it seems. You just queue right in and go, and that's pretty much that. It's a good way to work, uh, or, you know, just... Work on your aim? Yeah, work on the gunplay a little yeah. bit. I think it's still fun to play, but, I mean, it's 
you know, a five minute thing and then you're done. Yeah, I kind of feel like it's like going to a casino that doesn't actually have real money. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like when yeah, I yeah. when like, I win, like I win nothing. When I lose, yeah. I lose nothing. Yeah, yeah. You lose time. It's true. You do lose the most valuable mm -hmm. resource of all, your time. Okay. Unless you're Doctor Strange, and then I'm happy just... we've been. <laughs> Sorry, I'm happy we've been blessed with dual angles though. I, I tried to play PUBG yesterday, maybe I, the day before. I don't remember, but I got the desert like. 26 times back to back. <laughs> I, don't want to die. I like the oh, desert. I gotta show you something. I gotta show you something. You got a big room though. Uh, there's so little time. Here it is. Yo. Oh, hey. Right? Right? How'd you do that? It's a little, a little something I unlocked. Okay, I will not <laughs> jump out by accident this time. It's fine. Where do y'all want to go? You any, take any us. You know, I'll you're the tour you. guide. The tour guide. Mm -hmm. Wherever you want to take two very rusty PUBG players that were never <laughs> one, good one who to was begin never with. good at all in the first place. Well, both I kind of want to take a long home to a classic place, mm. like a Ooh. vintage location. All right. Let's do it. I'm in love with it. Oh man, could. Could do that. No, no. I mean, no. that's that's just me uh, being okay, a, okay. being an S disturber, <laughs> being a, a memer. Exactly, just me being a memer. That's fair. That's fair. You should do PUBG TikToks to uh, to uh, you know balance out Dan's Tarkov TikToks. I did. Uh, I did do one PUBG TikTok, but it did not take off. No, it didn't. Oh, go was anywhere. it the wait? Which one was it? You, you just got to do the uh, the old, uh, you know, the our all time best uh, PUBG clip, the the car roof. That one, I I would like to get that one. I don't have access to that clip natively though. I I could get it, uh, I'm sure, but I did hmm. the one, the motorcycle one, where my head gets stuck in the ceiling, and then Apollo says, "You fucking Jumanji, did dude." But that one, <laughs> that got twenty four hundred views, which is basically like zero on TikTok. Yeah, I guess. I've been putting know. out a lot of snoozers lately. The Zoomers have rejected me. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. It's okay. It's not. I mean, you gotta play Apex. That's how you get them back. I don't. I don't know, dude. There's not a lot of gaming <laughs> content on TikTok. It's a lot of. Uh, it's a lot of like high school memes. <laughs> it's a lot of like mm, my face when my teacher says pop quiz and stuff like that. And I'm like, yeah. 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 Oh. Oh, Why no. don't Ryan? Here's an idea. Why don't you go at it from the approach like pretend you're a teacher, and you'd be like, you know, when the yeah, students... kids love teachers. Yeah. <laughs> just dunk on the students, you know. No, but they'll laugh. They'll be like, "Ha, it's funny because it's true." <laughs> they'll respect you for it. I don't yeah. really want to get big on TikTok if it involves having to do anything like that what i really want to do is just push my existing stuff to TikTok and for some reason have it take off that's fair that's fair yeah that's about it <laughs> i don't know if i were to do TikTok, i almost kind of want to just like invent a dance and then do it have dude. it have it Hell trend yeah. on TikTok, and then ellen will invite me on the show yep there you go that's the path once you're friends with ellen you're completely safe in the public eye yeah. 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 No one will scrutinize you. <laughs> and then when I'm live on Ellen, I'm gonna call out live on air Shroud. Oh, gonna, I see. I'm gonna say ah. I could 360 no scope him before he could do it to me. Yeah. Are we going shelter or prison? Let's go shelter. Oh okay. my bad. Cool. Yeah, it's here, huh? Yule frag caves. It's been so long. I've, I think I've only gone here once since the remaster, and they look so much better. Yo, they got lighting. A1. They really spruce the place out. Green. Whoa. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. So good. So I'm going down into this tunnel, right? Oh, yeah. Okay, okay. Couple of tunnel snakes. That's what we're doing. I'm going to go to a completely different entrance. Oh, yeah. Oh, I got everything I need already. There you go. Helmet and a backpack. Frag caves just they give. Can hold meds for my boys. 
So are are y'all jazzed up like the rest of the kids are for Animal Crossing? Yeah. Really? I never played an Animal Crossing game. Neither have I. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of psyched well, to like finally get into it. <laughs> you know? Like kind of, sort of, but I never owned one, so I guess it doesn't like, you know. Yeah, yeah. Doesn't count. I'm pretty excited though. Everybody seems excited. Yeah, I'm it's not of... not excited. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm gonna play it for sure. Just yeah. kind of I whatever about it. Yeah, like when I've played it in the past, I have enjoyed it, but I've also it sometimes been like, what am I doing? Like I'm spend just like an hour walking around and you know catching beetles and stuff like that, then selling them. Uh, I just I, think I don't it's know. I think I gonna be like Stardew for you. Like yeah, like, that that's a good which, way to describe it actually. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, hello, sir. You're lucky. <laughs> They're like digital chores that are fun to do, I guess. Oh, oh there's a vis here. <laughs> I dropped it there. I should have said it. What is it? It's got a guy. gun skin on it. I I did have it, and then I, I traded it <gasps> out for a mini. Which I feel like I'm falling in love with the mini again. It's a great yeah. gun. Wolfsbane. Spain. Wolf Spain. Yeah. Yep. When There's is... also a mutant. If someone wants oh. this. What's better, mutant or disc gun? Uh, probably mutant. Uh, I mean, if you get into a know. close range fight, definitely disc gun. Really? Oh, is it? It does more damage. I mean, I feel like it's just easier to to handle. Like gotcha. mutant, mutant, you got to do either burst or single tap. I can read between the lines on that one. No, I think, I think I'm better I'm off with the, anything disparaging. Yeah. <laughs> no, so when it comes down to it, like I, I always feel like you always want, like I, I consider the mutant like a like a pseudo sniper. Okay. So if you've already got a VSS or you got a skiss right now, like I, I wouldn't bother with the mutant because you might as well just use the skiss for any situation you'd be in with it. Okay. Where you can turn to your pizza pie gun if shit's going crazy yeah, yeah, and just yeah. spray a lot of bullets. Rap, yeah. rap, rap. Yep. Oh, when this is an even better pizza pizza pie gun here. Wow, this on very low this gun looks so bad. <laughs> it's absolutely terrible. This is dreadful. Can I will say I feel like keeping textures on high it really enhances the game quite I a bit. I would love to, Everything but like uh, like we're in the process of of buying a new computer right now and gotcha, I'm gotcha. super excited. But I have to do everything to mm -hmm. just so Discord doesn't lag me out <laughs> while um, I'm playing, which is yeah, yeah, embarrassing. Yeah, but are you are you going through like a, a like a PC building service kind of thing? Like you just tell them like, give me the goods. Yeah, or... I'm gonna get it from a from a builder for sure. Hmm. I know. I know. I have no, a beautiful I, you know, you're, you're a busy vehicle. guy. Do it. Hop on, friend. Yes, master. Also, I don't know if y'all have played in long enough that you might not know about the best key they added to the game. But if you press F7, you get an instant volume reducer. That oh, cuts all your volume oh, yeah, by like yeah, yeah. 80%. Wonderful for being in vehicles. But yeah, make your way out here, Ryan. Pick you up in this. Okay. Mm this Stay. extremely stable vehicle. Oh, hey. Oh, you already took the good seat. I was trying to bounce it out. <laughs> oh, man, your backpack <laughs> looks really good. <laughs> Low oh, grass. no, I have a tier three. Oh, no, it's a tier two. It's the oh, flower it's a, it's one. It's the floral one, yeah. Is it's it? beautiful, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Believe it or not, those are flowers. Ooh. Ooh, we fine. I I'm just going to try to get us deep in the circle. <clears throat> Hopefully no Sounds. one rude shoots at us. This will be fine. You can do it. You can do it. Whoop. Look at that. Yeah, I'm psyched for games this month. I feel like I never get that because I'm just rarely into too many things coming out. But between Animal Crossing and Doom, I'm stoked. There's a lot of good games coming out this year. KSP 2, Darkest Dungeon yes. 2, Spelunky 2. I can't 2, wait for that. Uh, Last of Us 2. Um... I was tweeting about it earlier. You see that HBO announced that they're doing a Last of Us series? I did. Oh, indeed. yeah. Somebody I mentioned it liked. earlier. And I... <gasps> oh, it's I forgot fine. To ask. A little bit of a red zone, too. 
Falcons. Okay. <laughs> do you think we're going to see Joel's dong? Uh, I hope so. <laughs> Who do you think they're going to cast in the role of Joel's dong? Joel's dong. Oh, um, probably Henry Cavill. That's good. With a beard. Yeah. I mean, he's, he's so hot right now. Yeah. I, I saw did. that too. That Amazon's bringing back kids in the hall. I'm psyched about Yo, that. Really? No, no new episode. way. Yeah, yeah, new oh, episodes. My pen, my 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 pen. <laughs> Dude, one of the best skit shows. Period. Yes, End of story. Absolutely. I love the one where uh, Bruce's character is like hanging out at his mo his mom's place or his grandma's place, mm. and then. Or a grandma, I don't know, somebody's grandma, and he's like hitting on her, and he starts like doing push ups to impress her and stuff like that. And it's just like, it's so good. A great show. I've been like, I've been very big on like revisiting all the sketch comedy I used to love lately. Like, I did a rewatch of Mr. Show. I've oh, been yeah. watching uh, The State, all of the states on Amazon, which is great. You're not just I watching, that. I think you should leave it over and over again. I did that like 700 times. <laughs> I, had to stop. I did rewatch it again about two days ago. Oh, oh no! Wait, someone's here! All right, In the middle. Go. Grenade! Got one. Nice. Got two. I have to heal now. They in the domicile? I'm He's not in the sure. Center. Got him! Hey. Yo! I even I was lean shooting now. on this fool. Love to see it. Incredible well done. work. Thank you. Four X. Thanks, Bob. Couldn't have done it without you. <laughs> Ooh! I'm gonna take this guy's car 98. I'm gonna take this guy's slar SLR slar. Slur. I like slar. There, slar there's a good. barrel here if anybody wants. Mm. There's a mini and a scar at me if anyone wants it. Tons of ammo too. I need a scar. You know what? I'll take the scar, I think. Ooh. It's on the box. Thank you. There's a barrel here, too, which is like, apparently the barrel is the fastest to kill gun. Also a scus here, if anyone wants. Uh, but I'm just not good with it. It's too hard to use, so I don't use it. Oh, come on. Oh, I didn't know you couldn't put a tax stock on a scar my mistake no it's m4 or m16 yeah. yeah or a mutant is there something else isn't there like a an smg or whatever you can put it on too uh oh yeah the vector takes it yeah see i know he another knows. ar copy here if someone wants it on this box and an slr yeah oh this is the box you looked at already an ar copy uh yep if ryan don't need it i would nah, by it. all means yeah, yeah, go, go for, it. for it. It's on this this other box out here right next to it. Yeah, I think we should just chill here forever, honestly. <laughs> These are our homes now. This is where we live. I want to see if I could fancy my way up to the roof. The homes are their money. <laughs> you haven't seen... <laughs> oh, hang glider, south. I, I don't need to see it. You see it for me. I'm just taking a few funny shots at it. Is it in the sky or on the ground? No, in the sky. Just behind it's the house. Way south. Yeah. 195. Yeah. Okay. Oh, circle. Yeah, yeah. I got yeah, we should, now. we should definitely get people driving up this road towards us, I'd say. Okay. The way the circle went. I'm just going to chill by this big rock. Oh, there's boats out in the ocean, two of them. Yo, all right, let's go, boys. <laughs> let's take some, just some joy shots at them. Can I put a 6x on an AK? I can. I'm getting used to leading again. Yo, that one, I think, hit the boat. Let's go. <laughs> I was hoping to figure out where my shots were going, but I failed tremendously. I Honestly, I think I hit the boat a couple of times. I'm just going to say it. I believe it. Ooh, I definitely hit the boat that time. On a bit too high. I want to make sure no one's creeping up on us. Oh, I got up. hit! Oh my god, they are creeping up on us. <laughs> as soon I as am I thought. Highly it. dead. Oh. Was it in the house or? Uh, it seemed back towards the center oh, of the house. Jesus Christ! Goodbye, cruel world. No. 
I'm looking for him, but I'm not seeing him through the windows. This is okay. I got some, I got a 4X on my body and some meds and goodies when it's safe. Yeah, I think they were to either to the north, Justin, or to the east. I am so bad, dude. He just went into this house yeah. here. I'll try to be there in a sec. Hold on. Oh, he's moving to the left of the front door, Just. Are you in the house, Ryan? I am. I am. Okay. But uh, focus on, put your own oxygen mask on first. Okay. Thank you. I'll scream if they open that door. Okay. Oh, okay, okay. Let's close this man, boy. Ooh! Oh, that was right above my head. Peeking. I'm going to get back outside for a sec, see if I can get an angle. Yeah, I think it's still in that house. It was outside of it? I thought when he was shooting, like in the back, but oh, maybe I'm. He's he's so brave. Being very sneaky wherever he is. Up, out front now. Two of them. Back towards where I died, Ryan. Okay. I got one health. Oh, the rock, uh, 280. He's moving out in front of our original house now, two of them. <clears throat> Rip. Perhaps three of them, actually. Oh, no. no. Flashback. Oh, that guy's hurt. Oh <laughs> my god. <laughs> Snap City. Oh, oh, lean walking. So resonant. Felt like I had that boy. <laughs> oh, why am I spectating? <laughs> <laughs> I always do it too, just instinctually. How do you how do you rate the matches in PUBG? What's your philosophy? I just always go in different phase almost all the time. Really? Yeah, I just, I just don't think to. I've had a few games that I lost that I hit the smiley face button because something very funny happened. Really? I, I feel like that probably confuses them. They're probably like, this, <laughs> this guy lost in like three minutes. <laughs> hit the smiley. <laughs> I'm sad we're not getting the new map. I think the new map's fantastic, but mm -hmm. for some dumb reason, they don't put it in as an option in the rotation. Yeah, you can say that now because you're uh, not part of the partner program anymore, right? No, no, I'm still in it. Oh, dude, he's playing with fire. <laughs> they, they sent me an email, though. They're like, due to inactivity, we're going to have to kick you out. Yeah. <laughs> I say, like, I get it. I get it. Yeah. No, I mean, don't get me wrong. I still love the game. I, I feel like I've always been like a PUBG apologist, but I, that decision drives me nuts. The, the lack of map selection. And I get yeah. that they don't want to like fragment the player base, but ugh, drives me nuts. No, I don't think I'm part of the partner program. I think I, I w definitely was for a time. I think I aged out somehow back in the day. Probably they were like, you have to get one kill this month in order to stay in. <laughs> <laughs> I, I played for four weeks and was unable to meet the requirements. So I was like, yeah, little, I mean, little Tom Steyer trying to qualify for the debates, really putting <laughs> in the work, but. Yeah. I feel like there's not really a... Uh, I, I feel like from the start, there was never any really, like, big perks to being in a partner program. I know game really does, well, right? They sent us they a hoodie once. Did yeah, that, and then the custom server access. The custom right? server stuff is tight, yeah. But everyone does have that now. Yeah, so it's like... You guys want to go to a, a little place called Lockaway? Oh, they, they <laughs> think it's still sit. the only place I've ever landed on this map. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good place. One of the best. But yeah, I man, I, I saw someone 
kind of freaking out recently about the PUBG partner program being like, ah, it sucks now that, you know, like, now that all the big names left, the partner program is no good. I'm like, honestly, it's the same partner program it's always yeah. been. Yeah. Like, not that I think it's no good, but I don't know what people are expecting. Like, it's a nice direct line to talk to the people who make the game I like. That's yeah. about it, you know? People like validation. Yeah. You can put it in your Twitter bio. No, I'm a PUBG <laughs> partner. <laughs> I have a, a question about Twitter that I'm not familiar with. I, I, I feel like probably Justin is the most likely to know. Mm -hmm. Sometimes when I'm on politics Twitter uh -huh. and somebody has a horrible take, I look at their profile and it has this phrase in it. Lists equals I block you. <laughs> what does this mean? Do you know the origin of this statement? So, so this so what they are referring to is being placed on lists yes. on Twitter. So uh Oh yeah. It was a from what I remember at least, it became a pretty popular method of trolling folks on Twitter by adding them to groups and lists that they clearly wouldn't want to be in. Oh <laughs> Yeah, that's been a feature for like a long time too. A I remember long that. time. Yeah, yeah. So and, you, you uh, can put yeah. somebody on a list you know, hypothetically, that disagree. It described them as disagreeing with their core beliefs. Absolutely. Okay. Yeah. yeah. That, right. That's 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 the. I don't know what to call it. That makes sense. The tactic. Yeah. Yeah. So it's yeah. like if I made a list to be like the Charters list, and Ryan would be on it. Yeah, but then yes. I, I couldn't block you because it's honestly true. So. Yeah. There you go. There you go. In good conscience, yeah, so I couldn't do that. I think for folks who have like full blown open mentions, like mm. they're notified anytime anyone interacts with them, they'll get an interaction that's like, you've been added to a list and then the name of the list. I <laughs> so, see. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I've right. been I've been listed a few times. It got a chuckle out of me. I think I I'm on some could... gamer ones. Sometimes I get added to a list that's like, hey, cool gamers to watch. And I'm like, oh thank you. Mm. Now you're missing sarcasm, him. though. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, I, I I, don't know who uses... I, I, there's definitely people who use Twitter lists endearingly. Because like, I've been added to, to like streamers I like and yeah. stuff like that. And I'm like, that's cute. I'm like, I didn't know anyone used this. Hey. How you doing? Oh. I Ryan, heard I'm good. It's, it's okay. Ryan, I don't want, you want you a 6X or a 4X? Uh, <laughs> which one goes better on a micro Uzi? Both. <laughs> Dude, the micro Uzi actually got really nasty. Really? Yeah, it's an Finally. extremely formidable weapon. What the hell is this, dude? Spike trap? I have not used those yet, but they exist. Yeah, I got one as well. I was gonna ask. <laughs> I've been dying to like have a game where I could put those on the bridge or something. Oh, he's right. That would be, be sick. so good for that. Oh. I'm still looking for something to snipe with. Not really finding a lot. I'm going to head uphill. Got a QBU. I really like the QBU. It's and I nice. feel like people hate it. I don't understand. Really? Yeah, I feel like it's the least liked sniper out there. Oh, sniper. You can, only, can you still only get it on this map? or? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Shots oh. at Lakawi. Yeah. They're up on this hill right next to me. Hill. Yeah, I'm down. Got wound. Oh, one's running. Well, he's down low. No, he's running up. Yeah, they're probably going to run up here to the guy down. You. They are dead. Wow. Cool. All right, I got mouth. I would have just liked a chance to snipe him, but cowards got me. Who sharded now? <laughs> <laughs> you think this like, is water? Who's sharding now? <laughs> <laughs> God, the vector treated me so well, and I just threw it away. <laughs> I deserve all the pain I get. Is it still like OP if you have uh, the extended mag? Uh, yeah, it's super good. I I would say it's the best uh, SMG. Wow. Except for the MP5. The MP5 is amazing, but that only exists on Vikendi and the newer tiny map. Hmm. Mm. Which there's also this weekend they are letting PUBG partners play test the Vikendi remaster, which I think goes live in a week or two. Well, I won't need to so, 
worry about that then? <laughs> as, uh, well, hey, as you might know a nice partner who hosts oh. this weekend. You might. I don't know if I'm gonna. I might. I'm supposed to go see a rocket launch tomorrow night, but it's Yo. like 50% chance now, and I'm bummed. Is it? A, it's a SpaceX launch. Yeah, that's cool. Landing on the landing like right off the shore. It is I really see that neat. shit. Pretty I've always cool. been very into space. Just wait until they freaking they're gonna like fully automate that stuff too. Ooh, they're just no. gonna be I'm getting lit up. I'm oh, trying so man. hard to bob and weave. No. No! <laughs> no I was like two pixels away from freedom. Oh, oh, I, they, oh they see me. They yeah, see me. They they're see Russian. Me. They're like right over at the houses on the right by my mark. Mouth, they're gonna come into this valley. Don't worry, brother. Uh, I'm not okay. I put down some spike strips. <laughs> Can't see them yet. So one is in the house right I, that I died right next to. I heard them in there right as I died. Okay. Yeah. Well, they probably figure the rest of us are. I'm going. I'm going Little wide. Little did they know. Little did they know. I see him. He sees him. Oh, no! Wait! I hit that guy like three times. Oh, that... That jerk. He's lucky. I have the first one, second one. Fourth one got him. All right. It's, it's not hard. He's weak. Get ready, okay? There were... For sure, two in the same proximity. You just got to figure out how to climb up this little ridge here. These tiny little hills are a nightmare. <laughs> Once I, I get, get to go at an angle. <laughs> there you go. You got to Skyrim up. Oh, dude, it's all over. It's all over. Yo, chat, look at the sun is setting. The top half of my cam is... Oh! oh my goodness! <laughs> I was not expecting that. That was a good shot. That was, that was a nice shot. Yeah. I was like running with no potential cover for like a hundred yards in any direction. It was bad. <laughs> oh. Well, I did get a mission reward from my battle hey. pass. I'm level for 61. <laughs> wow. <laughs> what do you do with BP I, in this game now? Dude, I have 423,000 BP. Oh my god. <laughs> do you like just have <laughs> all of the stuff? <clears throat> There's just nothing I want with it. Yeah, like every they have like a BP store, but it's just all trash all the time. <laughs> <I feel like. laughs> There's nothing good in there ever. Oh, you could buy 50 levels for 35 bucks. There what? you go. You could buy BP with blue coupons. I'm just going to get more BP. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> God. Yeah, I need to hit a billion BP and then I can quit. Hey, we got the new map. Let's go. Have you played this at all? No. I've it's fantastic, you, dude. I love it. I'm going to take y'all to a special place. All right, please do. Oh, it's going to be great. No, I genuinely really like this map. Like a like a win on this map is like fifteen minutes at most. Ooh, wow! It's really fast. It's sixty four player max. It's smaller than it's it's half the size of uh, the South Island on Erangel. Dude, Brandon, <laughs> you see? I did, it's oh the God. Brandon, and he's standing next to some H one Z one players. <laughs> God, H one Z one. Remember that? Oh. I do. It's it's still one of my most popular clips of all time is when Rob, you were there, Mouth. Rob was driving us in a car and then his internet cut out. So the car just stopped and then everyone went, what's going on? And then the car sunk through the earth and, <laughs> and exploded and killed us all. <laughs> oh, that's fantastic. Yeah, we're taking a little trip to Waterworld. I can't wait to bring you. I hope we get to go in successfully. So if you look at the map real quick, 
these houses and these houses. We're just looking for sticky bombs to go into an underground bunker. Okay. Uh, we probably won't get anyone landing with us, but it might happen. I'm just going to try to avoid them wherever they don't go. Oh, my, oh God. my God. You drop so jumping is much quicker. Yeah. You drop really quick. So they did just recently rebalance the guns on here. Like, the first time the map came out, it was all... It felt like SMGs and, like, M16s. And I liked it because it was very scrappy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then people complained. So they were like, all right, there's just a sniper in every building now. <laughs> people hated that and complained. They're like, it's way too easy to find a sniper. So now it's somewhere in the middle. I still don't know how I feel about it. I didn't find a sticky bomb here, and I'm sad. Oh, yeah. I also did Pretty not much find sticky bombs. He's oh, got an MP5. It's unfortunate. As soon as someone sees a sticky bomb, it's when we celebrate and run. You just camp uh, an area and then wait for them to come in? What, with the uh, tunnels? Oh, with the sticky bomb, yeah. Oh. Well, so the sticky, I got bomb, a sticky bomb. I got one. Oh. I got one too. Let's go. So meet me right up here. There's a little entrance. Okay. So there's these it. tunnels all over the map that have, like, some of them are bad. Like, some of them only lead to a single room. I got one too. This one has four different entrances and leads to like an underground looting area. And one of them is completely flooded. Oh. I just love it. It's really good. Oh! <laughs> Was that you opening Sorry. the door or something? I did open it. Oh, I opened okay. it a little early. Sorry. Though there are more doors to open down here. So you, so. Just, you just drop down there? Yep. Yep. Just come what on is, down. What is going on, dude? No. Oh. I love this stuff. This is like my favorite thing they've done to this game yet. So if you blow this wall open with a sticky bomb, oh you can get God. The, there's like an inner level of loot. Oh. It just goes off after a couple. <laughs> <laughs> I found an, uh, another sticky bomb. Oh, I got an SLR. What a strange, what a strange game. Can't pick it up. Oh, dude, I need there's to... a bunch of gold bars in here. <laughs> all the all the good bucks are in here. I need a back. Oh, there you go. Level two vest in here as well. I got one. Oh. I still gotta find a backpack. So I'm missing. So this is the way we came in. There should be like three other ways to go that should lead to big rooms full of loot. And then there's an underwater one that I love going to. Okay. Uh, okay. I have three sticky bombs. Wow. Actually, let's go this way first. We'll loot the above water ones should be a big room here if not yeah coming uh, another slr here if anyone wants that it uses 762 yep it does yep. okay sure why not why not it's like a better scus not possible m24 here too another backpack if you're looking for one another slr so yeah the loot down here is usually really good I just, it's usually also contested. Backpack. Thank you. Did you already take the SLR, Ryan? I did. Oh, then I will take this one. There you go. Now, we have another sticky bomb, right? Mouth City three. is three. Oh, beautiful. Okay. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. So if you run back into the main area, it'll take you on a little adventure. Okay, I'm just grabbing that. This is loot rich. It's so rich. Man, oh, I think I took a wrong turn. There you go. So the blue is coming quickly, but I still want to show this to you. <laughs> okay. So this is the, if you go out the east exit, you get another big loot room. But you gotta go swimming for it. Oh. Oh, ho, ho. dude, they really went all out on this one. Yeah. So if you hang a left, it goes into a tiny little room that goes nowhere, but it's a good place to breathe quick. Did you guys swim? Did swim, and then go left once you're in there, so you can get a little, little oxygen in your lungs. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Too late. I'm a coward. I'm going back. <laughs> well, we, we could exit. We could exit out the other side of this too. If you want to, you should come back through, and we'll we'll go swimming out. All right. 
A lot of firsties in the water here. Oh, this water is making me bleed, dude. So I don't think they fixed this yet, but there was a weird glitch with this door. We gotta walk real close to put a bomb on it. How do you get out? <laughs> I love the little jingles. I wish you could do custom jingles. Uh oh, Malf, you okay in there, buddy? Oh, I'm fine. Are you guys okay? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We, we just got out. Yeah, let's just start running up into the mountains from here. Oh, someone's shooting at me. That's bad. I have no idea from oh, where. They're <laughs> it's far so enough close I can't to me. I, I thought they were super close to me. I'm not sure though. I sticky bomb. Oh, they got me. I see them. Oh. I got one. I might go down. I'm gonna try to heal quick and get you. I am crawling towards the non-blue. Okay. Just keep crawling this way a little okay, bit towards okay. these houses. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Keeping an eye out for them. I'm gonna I downed one. them. Oh no. All right. I should be able to get you here. Mountain bitch. <laughs> oh, a mountain bitch killed you. Here, Ryan, let's get res and run just like north. There's okay. some goodies on me. <clears throat> a lot of sticky bombs. Ammo. Hey. Oh, oh, Mountain Dew got me again. Is... Yeah. Hold on. There's uh, a freaking Firefox, dude. I'm not sure where it was from. Because I feel like they're just going to shoot me if I try to res you. Yeah. Ooh. Just live, brother. Incredibly rude. I'm sorry, friend. No, it's okay. I died, you know, face up looking at the sun. I shot them in the butt twice. It's a good way to go. Jesus. They don't miss. Am I using this yet? Stop this. Put in a lot of work on that one cloud over there. Really nice looking cloud. I, what is shooting me even? I hate this. I'm leaving, you know? I don't have to deal with this. Yeah? I don't have to put up with this shit. Self-respect. <laughs> Mouth. Yes. Uh, what was the last movie you saw in theaters? Oh, that's a good question. Um, dude. Uh, it should have been Lighthouse. I kept meaning to go see Lighthouse. But even uh, that was like October. I know, right? It's uh, been a while. It's been a long time. I don't... I can't even think. I don't know if it's... Did John Wick 3 come out after Endgame? Yeah. Saw that in theater. Wow, he's good. Great shooting. That m might actually hey. be the most recent one. I've just been renting stuff. It's nice, right? Like, I like the theater, don't get me wrong, but I'm like, you know, I could rent it right now. Yeah, it's five bucks. You know, five it's a good, you get, you download it in like less than 90 seconds. It's nice. Yeah. Pause it to go so to the bathroom, yeah. make your own snacks. I did that with uh, Knives Out and uh, Midsummer and what's the other one? I, well, Uncut Gems and I'm going to do <laughs> Couldn't make it. The Lighthouse. Oh, yes. I said I didn't rip that guy. It was a valiant effort and you gave us the gift of knowledge. Dude. Now I know how to stick you on. Have you all watched uh, Uncut Gems on your oh, non-US yes. Netflix? Oh, yes. Oh, yeah, that's Loved right. Yeah, I was just watching it on Netflix. I yeah. enjoyed it greatly. That was that's the last good. thing I saw in a theater. It was great. I w will say I'm glad I watched it on Netflix because mm -hmm. the subtitles were very essential sometimes to understand what was happening at all. <laughs> yeah, I feel like if I was only subtitles? listening to it, I always I watch everything mm. with subtitles. What? Yeah, I can't do it. Really? 
Yeah, I, I find it distracting. I find myself focusing way too hard on them. I mean, true. <laughs> Def I definitely <laughs> I self spoil all the time, but uh, mm -hmm. no, I always I always have subtitles on. I always it, it's funny too because like I absolutely do not mind watching foreign films with subtitles. Oh yeah, at all. Like I hate dubs, but oh yeah, same. I never watch anything with subtitles unless I have to. <laughs> I just, sometimes you'll be watching a movie and I think it happens more on TV. I think some TV is mixed not very well for uh, maybe for every environment at least. Then I'll be like, I heard almost everything you said, but I missed one word. And then I'm like, well, do I really want to ask the person I'm watching this with what that word was? Sometimes mm -hmm. Kate will be like, what did he say? And I'll just be like, I don't know either. I was just kind of letting it go. I prefer it's... having the knowledge. I prefer, like, people are always like, what's better, the book or the movie? And I'm like, well, you can have both at the same time. Mm. See, that's why I like movies, is so I don't have to read. Oh, of course. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't mind, I don't mind reading, though, for, like, you know, when it's in different languages and yeah. stuff. But, you know, I don't know. I have a crazy suggestion. Uh, is it Lakawi? I was gonna say Camp Charlie. Oh, who goes to Camp Charlie? Has ever been there? I don't. I don't oh, think yeah, I've, I've ever been, been there. Listen, I grew up in Camp Charlie. <laughs> oh, okay. You show me around. <laughs> I'm gonna jump out like the ruins. Feels like yeah. the right time. So, what's this Valorant game about? It's Riot, open parentheses, League of Legends slash Legends of Runeterra. Counter-Strike plus Ability. Mm. It's about... It's, you don't need to have this opinion at all. Uh -oh. I think it's a very silly opinion. But if you say it's Overwatch for adults... Oh, it's all oh, people go That's going to send crazy. a lot of people into <laughs> a tizzy. crazy. <laughs> it's a real good way to rile them up. <laughs> it's like Rainbow Six CSGO. Is... It really, to me, it looks just like it's Counter-Strike with abilities, which I think could be fun. Yeah. I'm not trying to reduce it down to, you know, it's called Valorant. Yeah, it's the new Riot Games. Uh, I don't know if it would really be considered a hero shooter, but I think it kind of is. Does it? Do we know if it's like objective based, like, you know, push the cart? I or... think it is. Okay. I, think, I think it's like bomb site based, kind of like Counter-Strike uh, would be. Okay. I think one of the leads was a, or one of the art directors, I want to say, is from TF2. And people are drawing a lot of correlations in art style. Ooh, it's hot already. The house is on oh the God. other side. Okay. I think. I'm gonna, yeah, it's somewhere to the west. I'm going to go take a little peek. They're in here. They're, they're like this building right next to me. Got wound. Trying a nice. flanking maneuver. I'm waiting to see if people come to save this guy. Yeah, someone's coming. I got a vec DM coming towards you. They are both dead. Wow, wow he's so good. <laughs> Really? I said Rainbow Six Siege was Overwatch for adults? Did you? I used to say that about Rainbow Six. They might be talking about me. And like, I don't <laughs> feel that way. But I think it's just a funny thing to say. I'll admit it sounds like something I could have said at some point. I really miss Rainbow Six. Dude. I played a little the other day. They did, they did a Twitch Rivals draft the other day. Yeah. <laughs> It just, it felt a little bit like getting bullied, but it was fine. You didn't get picked, huh? Oh, absolutely not. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> like, I shouldn't have either. Like, the way I was trying to, like, there were a few people who were like, man, this fucking sucks. I was like, don't get to, I'm like, there are people in this list who play Rainbow Six, like, 20 hours a day. <laughs> Imagine how mad their communities would be like, oh, some dipshit nobody knows and who hasn't opened the game in, like, seven months got in. <laughs> like, I'm just, I just don't really mean well. So, I didn't expect to get picked, but, yeah, I didn't get picked. I did see they're letting Turret Man use his turret as his primary weapon. <laughs> I love Turret Man. <laughs> Tachanka. Remember when we used to set up traps at the turret, you'd, and I'd be uh, Capkin, and I'd... Oh, yeah. 
I put the the, the oh, thingies yeah. and they'd always get got. Oh, so good. I still regularly think about that round where you played the guy with the dubstep flash bang grenades <laughs> and just ran in, took the hostage, and ran out. That is that might be one of my crowning esports achievements. <laughs> just literally doing the dumbest simplest strategy of all time and against all odds it totally worked <laughs> it is a great game it really is it's fun it's just I, I my issue for like a decade now is i love all these shooter type games i just have a hard time finding a group of people to like regularly play them with yeah yeah that's why I fell in love with PUBG. It's like, I could just do this shit alone. It's great. Like, I love these games, but I'm mm -hmm. I, I'm actually not horrible at Siege. I'm not good, but not horrible. But yeah. for the most part, like, I don't like to play them on Twitch very often because my community makes fun of me and doesn't like watching me play it. <laughs> so I wait for a That's day fair. like today where... I can be like, I want to play PUBG. And people are like, boo. And I'm like, but Malf and Justin are going to join me. And they're oh, like, yeah. yay. <laughs> they're like, eh, nah. yeah, 50 50. <laughs> <laughs> but you, you guys are the good part of the 50 50. Yeah, no, I, 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 I could appreciate that, I guess. Like, I. I get in my head a lot. Well, after a while, I did. I was like, God, I think I've streamed nothing but PUBG for like 2,000 hours. <laughs> I should probably mix it up a little bit. I feel like that's one of the, the biggest things I'm constantly doing with streaming is trying to like make sure things are fresh. Yeah. I feel like that's an underrated thing for streamers to do. I'm a big fan of variety content for sure. Yeah. Except, you know, for like a couple of weeks, pretty much all I played is Dark Souls Randomizer, but we're, we're <laughs> hey, getting there's some variety to that, though. They're, they're technically true. The it's like Isaac. Every run. Right in. Every run yeah, is a little yeah. bit different. Are you just Un until like, they're not? Like, it's. It's fun, but I'm done, kind of thing. Or no, I I'm hard stuck in it right now. Oh, like uh, I got a debuff that gives me minus fifty percent max HP permanently until I find an item. But all the items are randomized, so I have no idea where to look for it. Um, and the only way to make progress is to fight a two really hard bosses that can kill me in one hit on a rooftop that's like the size of a postage stamp. So oh, no. It's it's in a, a spicy time right now for sure. Can't you just like yeah. reset the randomizer to something better? Yeah, but that's like it's cowardice. <laughs> Man, I still have to beat uh Bloodborne someday. Dude. Is I left game. it at the final boss like a year ago. <laughs> really? Yeah. And now like, I remember leaving it to you because I was like, I refuse to go farm more fucking flasks today. Yeah. I'm not and then I, I I know, and moving forward, I was like, I know the next time I start this game, I have to go fucking farm flasks. And then I just start like <laughs> foaming out of the mouth. And I'm like, I'll play something different. There is like my my one thing about the design of Bloodborne I don't like is non-renewable heals. Yeah, yeah. Like, I understand it. I like a game that punishes me, but it's just a bit too much. I have a breaking point. Dude, that's what Stone Shard is like for me right oh. now. I'm like, yeah. I got this mission where I... This is a little spoiler for the Stone Shard series, but you can only save in that game when you go to an inn and rest, and there's like two inns in the whole game. Um, mm -hmm. And anything can kill you like instantly. So I was like, I went down to this crypt, and there's like some skeletons there, and then I got swarmed by skeletons. So I was like, I'm going to leave. And I left. When I walked outside of the crypt, it was nighttime. I didn't know this, by the way. Um... But it was nighttime, and the graveyard was surrounded by ghouls. Things I had never <laughs> seen before in my entire life. And I tried to run away from them, but they hunted me down. And I lost, like, 90 minutes of progress. Oh, no. And I was like, this is horrible. <laughs> I, haven't, I haven't seen that game yet. Is, is it a Souls-esque kind of game? Or? No, it's no. more like uh, Ultima, I guess. It's, like oh. a, it's a grid-based, turn-based, super hardcore RPG. That sounds fucking awesome. It's cool. I had no idea it was like that. Yeah, it's it's a cool game. I yeah. loved Ultima. I was a, I was a freak for Ultima. Dude, you should, you should talk to Dan fun, about it then. Dan's a. I think I talked a, to him once about it. Yeah. He's a fiend. <laughs> you... <laughs> 
There's a lot of fighting happening in that yeah. city. I think that's sign me. I don't want to go there at all. I'm gonna. <laughs> I think we should have to this mark the blue one. We all are down. Mm, okay. It's a bit. It's gonna be a bit hot over there. Honestly, I'm stoked that uh, like March is a the month we're in, but also it's like when all the big games are starting to come out, like Animal Crossing and Doom, for example. So, vehicle oh. passing us. <laughs> oh my god. Are we just shooting them. Uh, I think we just let them go now. But uh, <laughs> the uh, it's been a pretty good year for indie games so far, to be honest. Like. Uh, Stone Shard is good. I played a game today that everyone's been asking me to play called mm -hmm. Skull the Hero Slayer. And it's like a... It's a roguelike action platformer that feels a little bit like Hollow Knight. It's extremely good. Hmm. It's a great game. Nice. Oh, yeah. I played a game yesterday with my friends that was awesome. That I feel like would actually be an insanely good fit on this show. Oh, yeah. I can't, I'm trying to remember. Oh, Out of Space. Dude, I was just going to say, I bet it's Out of Space. It was so fun. That game is wonderful. It's like Overcooked, but sci-fi or something, right? Yeah, it's, it's like an Overcooked meets... Uh, uh, almost like a Visser cleanup detail, but oh, a top-down. Yeah. Okay. Wow, wow, wow. You're cleaning up. You're putting things away. Very fun game. I, I've also... I Only... Whoa. My whole computer just freeze? Hello. Can y'all hear me? I can hear yeah. you. Yeah. Oh, PUBG is 100% locked up. I'm going to try to open it back up. Don't worry, I'll protect you. I wonder if my video card is screwed up. Chad, the thing about Bannerlord, I tell this story every time, and I mean no disrespect to the development team. I, I went to E3 one time in 2016. I saw a, a behind closed doors demo of Bannerlord. They gave me a shirt. And we're like, it'll be out soon. But I know they've been working on it. In 2016, they've been working on it for like eight years or something like that. Now it's 2020. So I'm like, is it's when is it coming? I like I don't want to be rude to them. I've already gotten rid of the shirt. They're probably like porting it to a new engine because the old one has been obsolete for half a decade. It's possible, dude. The, like. It's been in development for so long. The shirt that I got halfway through its development went bad. Damn. PUBG's reopening. That's so, dude. You're whole, you're safe. You're my safe. whole computer just like collapses when I have to open a <laughs> full screen game. <laughs> it's just like you're not gonna hear any audio over the next forty seconds, bud. The shirt was also great because it was like, I. It was like a shirt of a medieval warrior in black and white, like airbrush. And it was one of the all over prints. So it had like pattern on the front and the back. And it was made of silk. Yeah. Wow. It was no probably, I, I honestly feel like it was an 80 to $100 shirt. Made of silk? You actually wore it? I wore it one time, but it was they only had <laughs> they only had the size that was two oh. sizes too big, and it oh, it told me invalid session token, and then I just said excuse me and tried again, and it worked. <laughs> All right, this we're we're sitting pretty over here, like north was... northeast in the way distance that had been shooting, but like okay, I'm gonna chill by these rocks and stuff in this hill up here, yeah, and I'm just coming. make sure no one okay. comes up behind us. It's probably a good hill to chill on. This is the hill I'll die on. No, I, when I said it went bad, we didn't get rid of it. We donated it for one. Somebody out there probably bought that shirt for like two bucks at Goodwill. <laughs> and it was like, it's their favorite shirt for sure. But. A guy, 85, sorry. 85? No, no, no. Yeah. Um, by that hot thing I use. Uh, yeah, you see, he's on the That's other side. <laughs> Hit him once. Let's see if I can. I think he stopped by a tree. Still running to the right. Oh, okay. They're dead. They're dead. Nice. No, no teammates. But uh, I also couldn't wear it just because of the. I mean, A is the wrong size. But B, I don't want to go outside wearing like a Christian warrior imagery <laughs> on my body. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I can see that. Yeah, but how did it make your nipples feel? 
I mean, it was a silk shirt, so it made them feel a little uncomfortable. <laughs> that's not that's not my uh, too much gliding. It, I, I prefer really. cotton because it chafes a little bit, which keeps me in my place. It's <laughs> <laughs> oh, gonna keep chilling on this hill to the next circle. Yeah, I recently did did a big donation of clothing to a clothing bin nearby and. Like some shelter is gonna just be inundated in like extremely large gamer shirts <laughs> <laughs> that I don't wear anymore. Do you have any like Twitch streamer uh, merchandise? No, not really. Oh, okay. Like almost none. Yeah, because I we had to go through. I mean, we talked about it. I think on when we were streaming on Monday, but had to uh, get rid of all of my my friends' shirts. We had to have the conversation, which is like we bought this. Like six years ago to be nice, but the collar's kind of not really sticking anymore, and the <laughs> sleeves are messed up. Like, is it yeah, bad yeah. etiquette to donate this shirt? No, I think... just buy a replacement for yourself. Dude, I still need, keep me honest. I still need to buy your hat, Malf. I don't want you to buy a hat if you don't like. No, it. No, I want to buy your hat and That's then wear it on my stream because it number a, one about the merch. A, it'll it'll promote your stream, but B, people will probably be like, "Oh man, NL's a nice guy," and then they'll subscribe to me too. Ah, <laughs> he's go. a man of his word mutual benefit it's like the shark and the little shark suckers um i've been struggling for years they hit your ride on the sharks like, they suck on them I, I just find streamer merchandising to be an awkward thing to try to do yeah dude, like i can't i hear you like I, I don't know how to put my name on a shirt it's just there's no way to make it happen that i'm like ah that doesn't look like shit you could do what i did and put your name on a shark ah i like that well, it's really what Mouth did, I guess. But that's what I yeah. So I'll tell you because you... people on my side are like they're angling for merch. I'm gonna tell you two things. We got we got parallel merch going on right now. Yesterday, Jay Wolves in my door was like, "Hey, remember we were talking about merch a long time ago? I did some mock-ups and I looked at them and I was like, this is slick as hell. They look amazing. How can we proceed with this?" David Miyazaki, I I had a brainstorm like two weeks ago when I was in the shower and I was like, why would I go to like Teespring and just put like my logo on a shirt? We got a community and we got a brand. Like what if we went to like a small online clothing retail or, cl or clothing label and we're like, Hey, what if could, could we do some kind of like cross collaboration here? Could we do like a, yeah. like a thing where you do like this, this brand is too big, but could we do like a Levi's cross Northern lion thing? But obviously mm -hmm. on a substantially smaller scale to make some stuff that's actually like cool. I'm not. Yeah, yeah. No, no problem. But uh, do it. Nothing, nothing yet. But you, you might see merch on on one to two fronts coming soon. They, yeah. The thing is with the with the existing brands is gonna. Those are that's why I told people not to worry about it until like at least the summer. There's a lot of moving parts in that, and you know, David's got a. Mm -hmm. He's got to work his magic. Yeah. But other stuff could happen a little bit faster. So that's where we're at, just so people don't think I'm not I'm not working on it at all. Yeah. Hell yeah. Sorry. Back to your regularly <laughs> scheduled. <laughs> I think we just chill here again for a minute, see what the circle does. Might get people running up behind us. Okay. There's an M24 in here. I don't know if that's good. Relevant. I seem to. I'm going to stick with the QBU, though. Okay. Um, yeah, I know. I know what you mean, though, Justin. About it's like you don't want to put your name on it, so that's why ninety yeah, percent yeah. of the merch I just do stuff like that I myself would want to wear, which is not my name. I think that's the way to go yeah. about it. And it's <laughs> yeah. like because I'm like, yeah, it's I don't myself wouldn't want to, and I therefore figure there's probably a lot of other people that are like wouldn't want it behind us. Uphill. Yep, yep, yep. It was just one. He did. Yo, okay. you're so good, dude. I didn't actually <laughs> Thank see him. You. But it's like, I wouldn't want somebody to buy a shirt that just says, like, mouth on the front. And then somebody goes to you in public and like, what yeah. the heck does that mean? Yeah, what's mouth? <laughs> and you got to be mouth? like, oh, it's this guy, like, I watch on the internet. And they'll be like, oh, oh, weird. Did I tell you I had a weird experience? Oh, uh, down. Uh, oh no. Don't don't res. I'll, I'll try to crawl to you. I think I might just be lost, though. Yeah, I'm done. <laughs> Yeah, there's a That's lot okay. of people around. Uh, I think we should just hunker down one of these buildings, Mouth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let everyone kind of thin the herd. 
But uh, I had a weird experience <clears throat> at Circle K where I was wearing one of my own shirts, which is rare. But again, yeah, any of my shirts, they know my name on it. It's usually just artwork I like of me. How'd and it was guys, the dive art. 140? Uh, 140. I see different guys 70 right now. Oh, I see them. I see them. They split up. One went to the rock at 160 now. Yeah, one's, one's trying to run past it. Threw a random He's molly at it. Yeah, yeah. He's getting blued a little bit. Oh, what the? The other guy got me. He's more to the left. Just keep on. Uh, can you try to crawl towards me? Yeah. I'm worried they're going to be shooting through the walls no, here in a sec. That's a different team. Shoot. They shot the door. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, guy. Two of them. This sucks. Yeah, they're splitting scary. up. Very I mean, scary. live your best life, brother. If you got a bail, go for it. Wow. What the fudge? You gotta go. Gonna start moving. Seconds. Oh, God. Yeah, we gotta, like, just run out the window and jump. I gotta heal, though. Go, go, go. Yo. Incredible escape. <laughs> that was harrowing. <laughs> it was terrifying. I gotta heal, dude. I love the dainty way the man cups his hand when you go to throw the grenade underhanded. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Like <laughs> that that whole thing. Yeah, the Beyonce strats. Oh, that's gonna get a kill. That's a blast grenade. Oh, I think it bounced out. Oh. Unfortunately. Someone's gotta be around there. I feel like these houses. All of them are shady. I'm gonna stay on the half wall back here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh, I like that. Oh. Good shooting. Thank you. His friends over on the left. Oh, 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 there's a guy to his right, I think. That was oh, someone really close in the grass here. Oh, I don't know if I hit him, but I was very close. Yeah, he's by a, a palm tree thingy. Oh, oh they, they took awesome out my one. killer. I'm gonna chuck a grenade. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna get behind the house next to us. Get a syringe in. I'm gonna wrap around the side this way. Yeah, 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 yeah. <clears throat> He's in this house. Yes! Oh! <laughs> you love to see it. It's been it's too long. long since I had a sniff of the great taste of victory. <laughs> Oh, I definitely didn't hit anyone. This feels game. nice. Oh. You you also got zero <laughs> hit points? Oh, I got zero. I got I zeros close... all across the board, too. Some close calls. My thing is, though, I'm not, I've never been uh, good with uh, the bolt actions. Mm. I position, pressure. position is a huge thing in this game. That's why I like it. I've been oh, promoted. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Incredible. Did I really have 69 kill points? It feels good. Was that like like seven kills? <laughs> uh, eight. That's eight what? kills. What? Man. You mad crazy. Man. Yo, let's go. Yeah. I like this. Uh, every time I make a sale, they send me an email, and it's probably the best email I get. Dude, I, w I was going to do it right now, but then I was like, mm, you know what? Probably shouldn't type in my address while I'm streaming just in case it's in the yeah, wrong no, window. No, no. So later tonight, you have my word. I will purchase that hat. I don't. It's, it's no pressure. Listen, I just make merch for the American man because that's who I am. <laughs> Wait, how does that quote go? I don't know that quote. 
It's uh, from Tommy Boy. It's uh, Dan Aykroyd's character. That explains why I, make I don't know it. Tommy automotive parts so for the American man, because that's who I am, and something like that. I don't know. <laughs> Completely stupid, dumb story, but when I was a child, saw Tommy Boy and loved it. Right. Yeah. I think everyone did. Yep. And then the movie Black Sheep was in theaters. Oh, yes. Oh, baby, don't tell After me you that, don't like Black Sheep. No, I love Black Sheep, oh, but for, for some reason, I had it confused with the movie Bullworth. Oh, yeah, okay. Oh. So as a child, me and my friends, I was like, let's go see the new Chris Farley movie. And we all went to see <laughs> Bullworth. And we, like, with Warren Beatty? Half an hour into it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like 40 minutes into it, we're like, this fucking sucks. <laughs> 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 Everyone was mad at me. <laughs> I've I've walked into the wrong movie before accidentally. When when Kate and I went to see Inside Out, we walked in and uh, a de-aged Michael Douglas was sitting at a table with some members from an organization known as Shield. But we didn't really oh. clue in for a minute because we're like, well, I guess like they're doing like a cross promotion where they play the start of Ant Man at every showing of Inside Out. Turns out that's not the case. Turns out we had walked into the theater for Ant-Man, a movie we had already seen. How long did you stay? <laughs> about like I fucking love about that. ten <laughs> minutes, I think. <laughs> uh, Dude, and yeah, then we walked I, into. We were already late in the first place, and then we would like watch ten minutes of Ant-Man, and then we went into the Inside Out theater and got the only seats that were left, which were terrible, and it was like forty minutes into the movie. But it was oh, still no. the this is, Inside Out is still a very good movie. I still yeah, had a yeah. good time, but... Oh, man. Dude, I am so jazzed up. I know it's a couple weeks late now, but do you see uh, the new Candyman trailer? I did, yeah. Oh, I'm so excited. Like, that's that's a movie I, like, kind of forgot that I liked when I was a kid. Movie scared the shit out of me when I've I was a kid. I've never seen it. He, he's a, he's a, a, a ghost, like a vengeful spirit that controls insects. Is that apt? Uh, kills you with bees. Kills you with bees, okay. Oh, no. Yeah. Yeah, dude, that shit was horrifying as a kid. <laughs> I fucking hate bees. I mean, bees are cool now. I don't hate them. Dude, we need them. you know what? Best bees, Burt's Bees. Oh, Burt's Bees is good stuff. Yo, I'm some telling you. got lots of company, by the way. Burt's Bees. Do we? Uh, oh, yeah, I see. Yeah. Oh, you went prison, did you? <laughs> oh, son of a gun. We're not going prison. <laughs> We're going minion. That's right. I'm re uh, diverting my flight. It's all right. I can get out of there. I can get out. This, this is a classic move for me. I can get out. Do you know if anyone went top of the hill? I don't believe so. I don't see anyone, so I'm doing it. I'm hitting that hill. Dude, I haven't been here since the remaster, I think. It looks good. Oh, the the lumber yard? Yeah. Okay, I'm coming. I'm, I'm skirting. What, no, I, I'm like, I'm at the uh, the little overpass in prison. Not not quite lumber yard, right below it. I haven't seen this, though. This is like a whole new building up here. It's like a mini sea dock. Oh, he sees me, dude. No. I'm looking for guns. He's coming into the building. It's all right. I'm ready. I'm ready, you son of a bitch. Get, come on. It's I'm Josh Brolin, no country for old men. Oh, man. Yo. Dude, tell me where he is. I'll throw nades from outside. He is in the big building. Like, Perhaps. like he's in your building? Oh, son of a bitch! <gasps> no. <laughs> I really am Josh Brolin. There's three of them in there. Oh, my nade missed. This one's pretty much my bed. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> Don't worry. I got them, boys. I'm crawling into a trash can. If you get one kill with this thing, I'll buy that hat right now. Oh, fudge. I got 15 <laughs> bullets. <laughs> Yeah, for people, I just got asked. The hat is not print; it's embroidered. They stitch it. It's a custom thing. I had to spend a month. You you got to e email them back and forth. That you can't. Anybody can't just make a hat. You got to get approved. They stitch it. That's it, dude. It's embroidered. embroidered. Yeah, stitched. it's like That's it's dope. high quality. So they like they don't have a human stitching it. It's like a machine stitch. It's a machine, <laughs> but there's like, you can only do up to like three colors, and okay. the design has to be like certain uh like the lines have to be a certain thickness and it can't be too complex so you kind of you have to talk to a person to I like see. you yeah. know make sure that the that it's it's it'll be good enough so yeah getting art ready for stuff like that can be a bit of a headache i remember uh 
briefly when I was younger doing a ska record label. Yeah, yeah. But when, when we were sending out for album art, there was so much. Oh, oh my God, he's a lunatic. <laughs> do it, do it. I can't. Oh, oh I see him. There's two in there. How do you hold your breath in this game? There you go, shift. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, I've been pressing alt because of Tarkov, yeah. dude. Oh. oh! <laughs> I'm pretty sure you hit him with the sec. That oh, first I did. Again. You absolutely did. That was Four a fun points. match. I'll hit that with the smiley face. Hit <laughs> it with the smiley face. <laughs> Man. Yeah, it for real, like... I've been kind of joking about it, but I really actually want to just because, like, what's the worst they could do? But, like, email Burt's Bees and be like, listen, I love your product. You want to <laughs> send me a case of it and then maybe you, give I me 10 like bucks a month no and I'll pimp, if, pimp it? If that doesn't work, you can always go with uh, this lip brand or this lip balm brand. It's Mentholatum Deep Moist. No oh. case you're curious. And then there's a lot of text in Japanese on the back of the tube. Can you actually buy it in Canada? Or is oh, I don't like, believe so. It's oh, <laughs> you and Kate brought it back or something like that? Yeah. That's my memory of it, at least. Mm. Hear me out? Mm. It's Arky. Dude. Cheeky Zarky. Look at it. It's sure. right there. Yeah, I like it. Oh, yeah. I was saying earlier, uh, so I, I went to Circle K wearing this shirt. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like the shirt I'm wearing in PUBG. And <laughs> Leon Connor was like, like, oh, my uh, my boyfriend would love that shirt. Oh. And I was like, really? <laughs> <laughs> Why is that? And like, she she was just like, oh, he just, you know, he loves that stuff. <laughs> and I was like, well, <laughs> well like bearded guys? <laughs> like, what? I was, I was, uh, I'm pretty sure it, it had no current correlation to my twitch channel <laughs> what you're saying but that stuff i got recognized i i told this story on monday but i like it i got recognized in the gym on monday um by a guy that was insanely polite and was like hey i don't want to interrupt you i understand it's kind of a weird environment here to get recognized everyone's busy but like i've been a fan for a long time enjoy your workout and i was like oh that's really nice but Aww. Before that, half an hour before that, I made a tweet about a jerk at the gym. Oh, no. <laughs> so I am still paranoid that he thinks that I was tweeting about him and oh, then no. was just yeah, a total yeah. snake during our interaction. Oh, no. It's like, oh, hey, cool. Yeah, that's awesome. Oh, no. But I think in reality, he's probably one of the people that recognizes me that's like i've been a fan for a while but he doesn't watch all this he watches one video now and then and he doesn't yeah. stay he he watches the avengers he doesn't watch the ant-man and the wasp and the you know captain marvels he doesn't follow the whole thing <laughs> yeah yeah yeah. oh man i <laughs> i felt i felt bad because i was gonna make a tweet a while back i, I ran into someone at wawa at like three in the morning Oh snap! And they 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 knew me from stuff, and it's stuff I don't. I it's it's from stuff I don't do anymore. Yeah. So it, kind of, it was like a little awkward. It was like right after there was a bit of a falling out too. So like he was like, "Oh, dude, I'm a big fan of this." And then he was like, "But like you know, everything's cool." And I was like, "No, like, it's, <laughs> it's fine, man." And like he was really nice, and we talked. But he said he uh, saw me at the restaurant he works at. Oh. And I remember I went to go tweet and I was like, on the off chance, he still watches all my stuff. So he didn't know who Babs was. So I was like, all right, I don't think he's watched for at least it's like, two but uh, I was like, I, I respect anyone who watches me. Like I, I'm, I love to meet people, but mm. if you tell me you work at a restaurant I've been to, I'm never coming back. Oh yes. <laughs> I, will, I will never eat at that restaurant again. It's over. I, I had but that then I was exact like, I don't want to feel bad. Like I, we went to a restaurant uh, one time. And it, actually, I've been back since, so I don't want to make him uncomfortable. Um, <laughs> but I always look for him every time I'm there. But the the guy was like, hey, are you Northern Lion? And I was like, yeah, that's me. And he's like, oh, cool, I'm a big fan. And then, you know, like my travels take me to that restaurant on occasion. One time I went, and uh, this was like last summer. He was super nice. 
He was like, hey, nice to see you again. Like, uh, you're, you're still in the neighborhood, yeah? Um, and then he took, like, 50% off of our bill. But then mm -hmm. I was totally on autopilot when I tipped him. And I tipped him 10% oh, because oh, no. it was takeout. So, basically, <laughs> he cost himself, like, half of his tip to do something nice. And immediately, I was mortified. But did nothing to rectify the situation because I was in, like, full-on panic mode. Yeah, And yeah, I've yeah. never seen him at the place since. But I always want to... Next time I see him, if he's still there, I, I'm going to be like, hey, it's going to be even weirder. I'm going to be like, hey, you know, a year ago... Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't know you were fighting that No, it's okay. <laughs> it's a sneaky boy in a corner. You know, a year ago when you gave me that discount, I accidentally gave you a crappy tip, and I'm sorry. And he's going to be like, I didn't even notice. And I'm going to be like, okay... <laughs> anyway yeah uh that reminds me just speaking of like oopsie tips uh on my birthday a long time ago a bunch of us went to a diner yeah and uh <gasps> oh mouth let's go uh <laughs> there was some drinking involved so no i i vaguely remember things but i do remember my friends putting a hundred dollars down for the tip yeah. And being like, I only have a hundred, like work out what we're tipping and like, just give me some change out of it. But then one of my drunk friends took the whole pile oh. of money and brought it up to pay. Oh, and the yeah. waitress came to the table crying. She was like, I'm like, I've been having such a hard time. Like, I can't get over. This is like a $200 tip. Like, oh, my oh. God. And like, at this point, <laughs> my friend's just sitting there like with his head in his hands. And like, after she left, he's like, well, I can't I can't ask for it back. There's no asking for it back. We're like, no, absolutely. There's no asking for it back. And I, I think I threw in some of my birthday money. Everyone just like, <laughs> was like, all right, we're just putting in money and we're giving JR some money because this sucks. <laughs> Look at him go. I got him. I think I got we got both teams. I, I think you got both teams. Yeah. What? Really? You saved me. I was dead. Oh, yeah, I, I pinged him and he went in the window and he's like, oh, I'm going to shoot this guy who just shot me so effortlessly. And then I shot him effortlessly again. Well, that's pretty much it. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Like that. Mouth. Yes, sir. I'm sorry. <laughs> Just let me look at you when you put the final bullet in. <laughs> it's not a bullet. <laughs> it startled me legitimately. Oh. <laughs> so this is, I mean, I'm always kind of weirded out. Not weirded out, but like Toronto's a big city, right? Yeah. Um, but like one time a while ago, I was at a Five Guys and I got recognized okay. um, by a very nice individual and it was cool. And then like, I want to say a month later, I was on the subway. Same individual. Oh, that is Yo, what unusual. I was like, what are the odds? <laughs> That's the story. Cool. I, I feel or, like I've only... Oh, I was just going to say one more. I got recognized at a McDonald's once and individual very nice and we chatted but the first thing he said was hey i'm a huge fan of bear and the rest of the nls <laughs> <laughs> i was like honestly i'm a huge fan of bear as well so like i totally get it <laughs> man i that reminds me of when i was still living in new york right before i moved the dude at 7-eleven and like just to paint a picture it was like two in the morning i was a mess like i was just just not in any situation to interact with other humans Dude was like, you're H.C. Justin, right? And I was like, oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, you uh, you, you watch the stream? And he's like, nah. Wow. <laughs> and that was the whole interaction. And then he rung me up, and I fucking, like, left in a panic. Dude, I had a, a, good. a thematically similar one. This is, like, probably five years ago. I uh, was at McDonald's, and after I made my order, the young lady who took it was like, are you Northern Lion? And I said, yeah. And she literally just turned her back to me and didn't oh. say anything else. Like, she was wow. talking to the other people that worked there. And, like, didn't acknowledge me the rest of the time that I was there. It was just a very oh, bizarre... I, I don't know if... I can see a couple of possibilities. One being the, the most flattering one. She's so starstruck, she can't even keep it together. 
Yeah. She's worried I mean, that she's going to break into tears and create an awkward situation. The other one was like, I fucking hate this dude. Which is how it felt oh, at man. the moment. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't That's know. Brutal. I feel like if you hated somebody, you probably wouldn't be like, hey, are you that guy I hate? <laughs> I just I just get the knives out, you know? Mm, yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He just goes straight for the throat. God. Interesting world. It's an interesting world. I, uh, so th this is a while ago now, probably like five years ago, when I was still living in New York, I was going to therapy. Right. And I was sitting in the waiting room, and there was someone in the waiting room with a mind crack hoodie. Okay. Yeah. Ooh. And I proceeded to just leave. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I was like, this sucks. I cannot. I, actually, I went to the hallway, and then when my therapist came out, as soon as someone came out, they were like, Justin? I was like, oh, my cue. Just walked very quickly from the hallway into the waiting room and then into the office. Uh, and like, I always like meeting people. And like, I and they, they also they looked distressed. I was like, I they yeah. don't want to meet me here. I'm certain of that. <laughs> like, this is not the place. Yeah, I feel like you can. Well, I've definitely been the weirdo who thinks I'm about to get recognized, mm -hmm. but actually is not about to get recognized. <laughs> Like, a, yeah, at yeah. PAX, uh, probably, like, four years ago, Kate and I played in, like, a, a side event for Magic the Gathering. And one of the dudes in my pool, who I got matched with in round one, was wearing a Binding of Isaac shirt. And I was like, 100%, this dude's gonna... He's gonna drop the... By the way, are you Northern Lion? I was waiting for it the whole game of Magic that we played. Never brought it up once. Wow. And, oh, and I, I was almost... A little, I was, like, stunned in in a way not like out of ego but i was like man they do exist i i haven't hit the whole isaac audience yet there's still people out there that are like oh, i love the game no idea who this guy is probably too busy watching cobalt to a dude it's possible <laughs> after the match you're like i'm a big fan of cobalt yeah <laughs> could you say, say i had a cobalt for me <laughs> oh that's my bad Oh, There's a not, not, M416 on my mark. Ooh, I'll take this. And that is every story of me ever getting recognized. Right there. Yeah, we I got them so. all out. Pretty much. Yeah. I, I always do feel oh. bad that, like, when someone does recognize me, they're always apologetic. Because I'm like, you're legitimately just making me feel more important than I am right now. Exactly. <laughs> you do not have to apologize. It feels great. Yeah. And I'm, I, I feel lucky. Like, I've never had a bad situation. Yeah. But I, I do, you know, I put on my people radar when it happens. Oh, my God. You get about 10 seconds of, like... <laughs> Am I about to get killed? Yeah. And when that when that time passes, you're like, okay, we're cool. So Babs and I went out for my birthday, and we went to a sushi place like, a little bit far away, but we we wanted to go to a nice place. There's really nothing all that great near us. But uh, there was a woman sitting there. there. There was like a bit of a wait. They were they were changing over staff, so we were just sitting. And this older woman is just like, hey, you guys, there's a uh, brand new movie theater right up the hill. And we were like, that's cool. Like, thank you for telling us. And then we go back to looking over the menu and talking. And she's like, no, it's, it's brand new. It's right there up the hill. And like, legitimately, like she, inter she interrupted our conversation. It had to be seven times to tell us that there's a new movie theater up the hill. And then she opens the door and goes, come out. And I was like, oh. excuse me? She's like, come out. I want to show you. Like, it's right there. And immediately my brain's like, she's got people waiting with bats. Yeah. They're get me. Like, I can't follow this woman. I'm dead. And then I was like, ah, she's like 100 and I'm in Florida. Uh, that's mean. She was nice. She wasn't hungry. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, it was very bizarre. I followed her outside. She pointed at it. And then she was like, it's, uh, you know, a good romantic place for you two to go. Oh. I was like, thanks. All right. They're staying Little did They're Justin nice. and Babs know it's actually an adult oh. movie theater. Oh, shit. <laughs> I should have looked. That would have been really funny. And the lady used to be in those oh. 70s. Oh. Like, in, yeah. In she the wanted movie. you to get a, a look. A glimpse. Yeah, the only reason it ended was we finally got seated. 
It just it legitimately twenty solid minutes of you should go to the new theater up the hill. It is weird. Yeah, it was very off putting. <laughs> I had that happen at the post office when I was there on the weekend. You know, we were it took a long time because we had to deal with bureaucracy and a system that only people over the age of fifty five and myself use on a regular basis. And mm -hmm. uh while we were there, this dude just started talking to me. He's like, You're shipping a lot of stuff and I was like, Oh, we're sending like six letters and then he's like, You know, if you really like want to save money, what you should do is just get a P.O. box in America and then you can drive down there, send your letters within America and it'll save you like so much money. And I was like, oh, that's <laughs> cool. And then he's like, yeah, my brother runs a business where he ships a lot of packages to South America. And that's uh... what he does. And he saves a lot of money on that. And I was just like, is this guy actually... Like, if I was his brother, I'd be like, be cool, dude. You're out in my yeah. in my narcotics yeah, ring it? just to anybody. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's great. He might have just been excited. I don't know. I'm I mean, also you, just... It's, it's <laughs> an equation, though, because, like, you got to spend money on the gas to drive. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. It definitely can add up. Yeah. I want to see the map on that one. But, yeah, freaking... Uh... What the fuck was I going to say? Sorry. Bring it. It's just no good. No, it's fine. <laughs> oh, I uh, I wish I were just capable of ignoring people or telling them to stop, but I just can't. I do not have that bone in my body. Dude, I couldn't even tell. There's this like, uh, homeless guy that kind of like frequents the the area that I live in. So like, you see him, um, around. And one time I was like trying to go to the shoppers drug mart, which, you know, closed at 10 and it was like 9.45 and I'm outside the door. And then he just like starts talking to me <laughs> and uh, and he's going on about how he like knows the owners of the bar across the street or something like that. And um, blah, blah, blah. And he's like, oh, if you ever need like a good deal, I can just talk to me. And then... He told me he used to be uh, an Olympic athlete and he could run a sub 10 second uh, oh my God. 100 meter. That's Kept going really on fast. And on. <laughs> yeah, so we, we ended up talking. Well, he talked for about, you know, 10 minutes and I almost <laughs> missed. I just couldn't tear myself away. I, I just like, I didn't know what to say or like how to interrupt. He's telling me is like this life story, which is like 95. 9 percent fabricated but it was yeah interesting nonetheless at, at the end of the day like i'm sure he had a really good time telling you that story yeah um, it's a good deed yeah he probably forgot about it he was pretty drunk <laughs> <laughs> that's fair malv also God. has one of my favorite homeless interaction stories of all time which is we were hanging out with a few other friends of ours in toronto uh, uh, Dude, I just looked at that picture the other day. No, really. <laughs> we we took a picture of him, but yeah. I did not. I story. don't remember anything about that at all. But um, we were just walking around, and uh, a homeless man in a large trench coat came up to us. Oh, oh, sorry about these rocks up here. Yeah. I think I'm screwed, unfortunately. He's running two of them to the re uh, direct south of us, Ryan. Or well, I guess one. they're southwest of you. Yeah, there is another one there. Good job. No. No. <sighs> and he, I'm lucky they shot me because I somehow fucked my nade up and it exploded in my face. <laughs> so. okay. Oh, I got a knock, boys. We're back. Let's, Let's go. go. <laughs> yeah. But, um, yeah, this homeless guy in a large trench coat came up to... Uh, all of us and was like, hey, do you boys want to buy some beers? And we were like, absolutely. <laughs> Assuming they come in cans or bottles. They're not just, uh, <laughs> you know, like in a Tupperware container or something. <laughs> so he opens his coat and he had a bunch of what I now have to assume are stolen cans of uh, like Lake Port honey, and uh, <laughs> which is just a terrible beer. And he was selling them for five bucks five a bucks. can which is yep. an outrageous markup outrageous but, markup <laughs> but especially considering the circumstances but yeah we bought a couple of beers off of him and then uh mouth bought one and uh the guy was like thanks a lot boys do you mind if i just take a sip 
And Malf was like, yeah, sure, no problem. And then he just chugged his whole can in front of him. <laughs> and then <laughs> walked away. Oh, well, we took a picture. Oh, I, I got to find it again. We actually took a photo with this guy. Because uh, <laughs> I was going through my hard drive. I was, I was moving some stuff over. And I was just like, a trip down memory lane. <laughs> and uh, yeah. So it, it happened. I don't know why in my head I keep thinking his name is Wayne Gretzky. That's just, it's just <laughs> in there somewhere. I got news for you, bro. Oh. <laughs> Uh, it's a, oh, it's a very fantastic. good story. Very good story. And the beer was extremely warm, even though it was like oh, yeah. minus twenty outside. I think it's for the best that he chugged it for me. I yeah. got more. <laughs> I got more enjoyment out of that than I would out of the beer itself. In, in hindsight, absolutely true. But I got the enjoyment <laughs> of watching him do that to you, and I got to drink a beer. That's true. So it was. What the heck is this, dude? There's a someone's a freaking lion over here. Oh my oh, gosh! <laughs> you did you hear about the controversy with the lion skin when it came Not out? Not at all. <laughs> they accidentally when it first came out disregarded the tail position while diving. Oh. Okay. And the tail would just wrap right under your legs and go oh, straight no. forward. It was. <laughs> They took the skin out of the game after, like, it being live for six hours, <laughs> and then they fixed it. Attention, players. The PUBG servers will go down for ten hours to perform some routine maintenance. <laughs> it was extremely funny. <laughs> I remember oh, it, this really game has that. so many good stories, dude. Like, when they... Was it, they released the third map, but all the door sounds were like 150 <laughs> decibels each. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Yeah, during the Sandhawk play test, I think it was. Yeah, the doors were just horrifying. Like every pregame lobby was just people opening doors over and over again. Oh, man. <laughs> it was good stuff. <sighs> man, I haven't thought about that. <laughs> guy chugging that beer in a long time. That was a great story. That's so good. I think that it might. I don't know if it's the same day that uh, Josh got slapped in the face by his friend, but it's, uh, it's within 24 hours of it, without a doubt. Well, no, because yeah, yeah, that happened in Toronto as well. That was after the Mill Street Brewery. Yeah, wonder what an eventful, an eventful weekend. Good stuff. In many ways. <laughs> I'm shocked I've never been to Canada. Dude, come up. It was, so, we'll, it was so close when I lived in New York. Yeah. We'll eat food. I'd love to. Someday for sure. Whenever you want. I'm ready. <laughs> it's pretty cool. My One of my hall floor neighbors is uh, going down to Florida, Justin. Maybe oh. you can hang out with her. I'll just, just hitch on back up with her. I definitely do feel like Canadians go to America way more than Americans come to Canada. Mm, that's I'd probably s- true. Yeah. Which is crazy because everything down there is expensive because your dollar is strong right now. You guys should be coming up here and just buying up everything. Just having a field day. Yeah, you got like a 30% discount on <laughs> on literally every product. Now, mind you, everything's about 25% more expensive, but <laughs> But then doesn't that make our dollar stronger? Uh, I, honestly, I don't know how that, any economic stuff works. I thought it was all just like made up. I mean, it... like I went on all the the stock subreddits on like Sunday because I was like, oh, yeah, what's going to happen on Monday when the, when, when the stocks reopen? And everyone was like, it's going down as fast as possible. Everybody buy puts. It's going to be a bloodbath. And then on Monday, it went up. And I was like, what the heck? You guys, uh, you don't know what you're talking about. The numbers, they go up, they go down. We want I don't know this. how it works, dude. They went up. <laughs> they went up on Monday. They're going down today. Oh my goodness! <laughs> There's someone in a little guard tower over here who scared the shit out of me. Did you get? We're on the side of the hill. No. Oh, I see him by. He's by the tr- the truck. Oh, he's by the truck. Right in front of me. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I think I'm going down, boys. I'm so far behind. 
Did you get him? Just no, no, no. There we go. Let's go. He's in got oh, Behind us? Behind. Oh. Yeah, I'm down. He's coming yeah. to... His oh, There's he got you too. Yeah, yeah, you got us both of that one. I had, like, what one is this weenie? He probably stream sniper, coward. <laughs> I'm coming, boys. I believe in you. <clears throat> I appreciate you having the patience to watch me run over here for a minute and a half and then get killed. It's entertaining. I, I'm happy to do it. It's like a little break for me, a little yeah. intermission. I can kick back, cross my legs. Get out the shotgun. Shit, yeah, I haven't gone to the grocery store. I hope people here aren't. Like, people in my chat are talking about their stores being empty from people panic shopping. Yeah. Toilet paper. Yeah, yeah. yeah uh, Sanitizer. Kate was telling me that there was a huge run on toilet paper in Japan because somebody mm -hmm. posted on social media that, like, all the Chinese toilet paper factories are shutting down, so you're not going to be able to get toilet paper soon. Then... A large section of the Japanese population went out and bought up all the toilet paper, and then the news had to run a story that was, oh my god. Oh boy. I, my soul was removed from my body there. <laughs> I felt it, I felt it come out. <laughs> uh, but at the end of the day, they had to air a segment on the news that was like, uh, like 99% of the toilet paper used in Japan is made in Japan. So they just bought a bunch of toilet paper for... For really no good reason. Yeah, no good reason. At yeah. least. Somebody at a at a Japanese toilet paper company got a promotion. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Some social media manager at like yeah. uh, at wherever, I don't know. I can't think of a single toilet paper brand. What is wrong with me? Charmin. There it is. Uh, Royale. I don't remember that one. It's the Yo. cat one, I think. Kidding? Yeah, one. I'm I good because. That. I, I'm on that bidet life, so my roll of toilet paper lasts me a very long time. That makes sense. You just got to dry off. I'm sorry, I feel like I've talked about bidets probably like three dozen times. I'm for it, though. <laughs> yeah, I feel yeah, like I have... I've been taking crazy pills about this coronavirus stuff, dude. I've been like, I mean, you might have seen I got heated in the Discord. I'm like... It's like there's people out there that only believe there's two ways you can handle the shit. You can either completely ignore it and make fun mm -hmm. of anybody who's not ignoring it, or you go into full blown the world is ending panic. Like yeah. nobody yeah, is capable yeah. of the nuance, or not enough people are capable of the nuance of just like, like, hey, you know, be careful, wash your hands, try not to touch your face, and maybe stay away from huge public gatherings in affected areas. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, like I, I, I'm like, there's a part I'm, I'm nervous because like, uh, the area I live in is essentially all old retirees and oh, shit. It's if it ground. hit here, it's gonna be devastating yeah. for them. But like, there's really not a whole lot you could do other than be like, hope everything's okay. <laughs> I'm gonna wash my hands more, you know. I'm stoked because uh, on Sunday I went to the grocery store and the cashier coughed in her hand and then bagged up my stuff. And I've had oh. that in the back of my mind for a long time. I've been oh, like. No. I've, that might be my origin story for this stuff, but still feeling okay. It's been like five days later. Still, it's still possible, but I think I'm. Maybe I've made it through the worst of it. That's creepy. I had a drink the other week. It's like you know the like, not the the like pop bottle caps, but it's like when you open it, it does the little pop thingy. Excuse me. You know. When you, uh, it's like a, like a Snapple or something. The, the oh, metal yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I couldn't remember if I heard the, the pop. <laughs> I had to oh, throw my. it out. You just threw yeah, it out? Yeah. Dude, I, I didn't know before. if somebody was going around opening bottles and, like, sneezing into them or something. That's <laughs> really? where, that's, like, the most paranoid I've ever been. But I was like, you know what? I'm not going to oh, no. die to the coronavirus over it. Two dollars a snapple, yeah. I yeah. <laughs> I see, I've had that happen too, but in my mind, I'm like, ah, what if this shit's like, like got germs in it from sitting around open? Yeah, that's. I feel like the likely one, but I feel you there. I've had that. Uh, yeah, if you don't hear that pop, what are you gonna do? I think someone's in here, Mal. Yeah, we're getting into this. I'm place. upstairs. 
Yeah, there, I I'm saw one dead. land kind of behind you. I'm dead. Oh no. It's pretty much on me. I was working with a pistol. I got a shot. Hey. Was that a micro Uzi? It is. Actually, I did that. Like we had a, like our meal kit stuff got delivered, and like Behind one of the bags forever. with beef in it was like a little punctured. <laughs> Sorry, oh, I didn't dude. want to get in the middle of this. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> one of the bags of meat that was like punctured and it leaked a little bit, and I was like, well, yeah, that's going straight in the trash, obviously. Yeah. I don't know. I have a. Uh... I like getting the single serving things of hummus instead of mm. the big tubs. Because I feel like I always waste the big tubs and the single servings. It's just easy to know, like, it's like pretty much exactly 100 calories. It just makes it easy. But anyway, it expired in January. Okay. All right. It's still fine, right? I wouldn't eat it, but I think you're probably no. safe. I wouldn't, yeah. I mean. Because, like, it's fully sealed little thing of hummus. I but I'm like I don't eat much after the best before date. Kate is like the opposite. Even if we bought meat like ten days ago, she'll be like, "It's oh, fine." Oh yeah. And I just go. Was, I told me her to stop telling me. Yeah. <laughs> I just told her yeah. if you if you want to cook it, just cook it. Just don't tell me that you're cooking. Because if you ask like, "Hey, this said it goes bad on like February twentieth, but it still looks good," I would be like, "Nah, toss that in the trash." But I'm sure yeah, I've yeah. cooked and eaten a lot of oh, meat that was way yeah. past the best before date and been Just like, this is delicious. Think of all the times you've eaten out. Probably like, oh, man. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> that, see, that doesn't bother me. Whenever I yeah, see, what like... Don't, what you don't know, don't yeah. you? Whenever I see, like, <laughs> health department, uh, like, violations and stuff in, like, shocking conditions in restaurants, I'm like, I genuinely think I've maybe had food poisoning once in my entire life. So I'm not going to get grossed out by this. And that was at a Burger King, to the best of my knowledge. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That was a fun time. <laughs> I uh, I used to go to this Mediterranean restaurant all the time out in Long Island. in a town called Baldwin. And uh, it was a great place, and I loved it. And one day we went to go, and it was all sealed up. And it had oh, no. health code violations on the door. And then we checked in the newspaper, and... They had been fined for leaving meat in unrefrigerated vans. Oh, oh that no. seems like an incredibly extremely <laughs> bad. <laughs> extremely. They they bad. have a, like a code for that. <laughs> there, yeah, like there was a specific, yeah, a specific it was, it was really citation. Bad. Specific citation: meat in unrefrigerated vans. All of that, uh, all of the health code results and violations are public in Vancouver. You can just go to like the website and it'll show you in chronological mm -hmm. order. And yeah, probably like once every three months I go there and I'm like, oh, I've eaten there. Absolutely. Yep. But usually it's, usually it's like improper, like they don't have enough hot water. And I'm like, yeah, that's bad. Don't get me wrong. But it's not like, you know, yeah, yeah. locust infestation or something like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like some of the health code violations, I'm like, in my home kitchen, I violate those every time. Without a <laughs> doubt. Which is not yeah. the standard you should probably hold the business to, but. I just avoid all the ones that are like the red. Yeah. Do the, is it in, in Vancouver? No, it, but yeah, I, like watched, green, yellow? I watched a CBC video about uh, the guy who commandeered that initiative for Toronto. And I was like, that's a cool system. Mm -hmm. You got a green smiley face, a yellow semi-pleased face, and then a red, like, angry face, don't eat here. Yeah. Mal, I think by they the actually... way, did you see that we won? Subway lost their lawsuit against the Dude, CBC yeah. and then were forced to pay half a million dollars in uh, compensation to CBC for bringing a, a BS suit to the court. That's right. We did it. <laughs> what, what happened? I missed all they that. They did us. So CBC's like our, you know, big uh, news news out, outlet that's like also federally funded. So mm. Ryan and I basically are like co-owners. Yeah. And we're co-defendants, yeah. essentially. <laughs> so they did a study of like different fast food places that you know have chicken sandwiches to test how much is actually chicken and how much is soy 
And so, like all of them, it's like, all right, 20% here, 30% there. Subway was like, was it 60%? Yeah, it was like less was... than 50% chicken or something. Yeah. Damn. And so, of course, they're like, hey, like these are the results from our thing. And Subway's like, hey, uh, we're going to sue you. And then they tried to sue. And then they didn't. And then this was like two years, three years ago. It's been an ongoing going down. litigation. This has yeah. been ongoing. Yeah. yeah. So finally now they're like, Subway, you got to you gotta pay us half a million. <laughs> Which seems like... Didn't it's Subway change, try to but... sue for like... Was it 200 million? Yeah, it was in the hundreds of millions, I think. But Jesus. Yeah. I think they were just too early. They should have marketed it as Beyond Chicken. And then... <laughs> they're like, are because they have those what? light life burgers in Canada that are like, you know, you're like, oh, a vegetarian burger is too scary for your manhood. So, mm -hmm. what about this? It's called light life. <laughs> it's half meat and half meat substitute. Subway could have been in on the ground floor of that. Instead, they took yep. the the coward's approach. And uh, I meant to talk because I've been meaning to go. So yesterday when I was out at the crappy tire, the lunch I had, I finally went to a firehouse. Oh. Yo, because I've been like meaning it. to go, and they've been opening them up, and you know, in the the GTA and stuff like that. And there was one right there, and I was like, you know what? Let's let's get her done, dude. So much, so much better. Really? Than Subway? Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, I because I started apparently the brisket is like one of the things to get there, but I hadn't had a good turkey sub in years, and I was like, let's put them to the test. Let's see how their turkey is. It was good. Oh yeah, dude. Yeah, I uh, so. I really like Firehouse. We we go there every now and again because uh, uh, Subway I haven't had in forever. I, I just feel like Subway fell off a long time ago. Yeah. But I don't even know if it was even ever that good. But uh, I feel like Firehouse, their hot sandwiches. I was so shocked at how like absolutely good their pastrami sandwich was. Oh yeah. I've I was shocked. That. And you're coming from really like good. New York, like deli culture. Yeah. Right? So <laughs> yeah. Like I'm not like I'm not saying it's amazing, but yeah. Like there's there's a place around here that touts itself as being an authentic New York style deli, and they have a pastrami that's pretty good, but like legitimately firehouses is better than theirs. And that's pretty bad for them. Yeah. It was very nice. I'm still like, I know you you've probably heard me go on about it, but I'm a huge believer in mod pizza. Like, I keep tweeting... Mod pizza? Yeah, mod pizza. So it's basically like it's a Subway model for pizza where you walk okay. in. They have, like, a super hot oven, and you go, hey, give me a uh, pizza. All pizzas cost the same. They only change based on size. And you can mm -hmm. ask for whatever ingredients you want that they have. And they got yeah, pretty yeah. much everything, right? Um, but I keep tweeting them, and I'm like... I'm not joking. I'm like, let me know when you're opening up in this freaking area, dude. Because I don't want to be involved in the restaurant industry, but this is a lock, dude. It's like buying <laughs> Amazon stock in like 2000. This thing's going straight to a, a billion. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, I can see that. It is a cool concept. Are People they open that, in Toronto what, yet? Uh, they open one in Canada, and it's on Vancouver Island. So. Oh, you well, and it's like three hours away from me. I gotta take a freaking ferry, worth which it. is no, no, not worth it. <laughs> no, 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 no. I read no. some article the other day about how Seven Eleven's been like sneakily getting into the taco game. Oh, did you see that at all? I did not. Know. I can't remember the name of the franchise they bought up a while ago, but it's like some some Subway style, uh, you know, build your own. Or have someone build you a taco in front of you style place mm. that's opening gas stations. Well, oh, snap. but supposedly pretty good. But apparently, 7 Eleven's been like, they're working on opening stores that are going to combine like a 7 Eleven with that taco restaurant and also a bar. Whoa. Wow. Yeah, that's surprising. And they're, I think they have a few opening in, on the West Coast right now to like test them, I heard. I, well, they've been I like 7 getting... Eleven. I, I don't the go food, to it that The often. hot food is not very good yet. <laughs> no, it's not good. At least, like, that's the, the craziest thing to me when I left New York was, like, I love I went to 7-Eleven almost every day in New York, be it for, like, a bottle of water, or, like, anything. Yeah. Like, there was just something yeah. I'd go every day. And now I've got Wawa here in Florida, and it's like, dude, Wawa is just better in every single way imaginable than 7-Eleven. It's unbelievable. 
It's so good. I've been to Sheets one time. Sheets is cool. I went. I've been there once or twice. It's pretty much exactly like Wawa, but less healthy is the way I felt oh, about yeah. it. Like not that Wawa is the beacon of health or anything, but I remember eating like a greasy ass burger on a pretzel bun at Sheets <laughs> or something <laughs> like that. Not too crazy about the pretzel bun. No, dude. It sounds like it's a cool, like it's cool in theory, but they're always just kind of like hard and unpleasant and too yeah. much. Yeah. It's like too too much flavor clash with the burger. I can hear that. Give me that Martin's baby. I had a dope fucking burger yesterday at a at a barbecue place. Oh, it was very good. It had some kind of hot sauce on it, and I, I appreciated it. What is the the characteristic cuisine of Florida? Ah, so the cynic in me <laughs> is gonna tell you Golden Corral. Okay, yes, I understand. Uh, there's a bunch of those. Uh, I feel like the, the food I hear most about for Florida, like touted in a positive way, is probably Cuban. Ah. Yeah. I, I have finally had my first Cuban sandwich. It was fantastic. Wow. Dude, it was yeah. So good, dude. It was wonderful. There's also a lot of pretty good. I feel like where I am, I have a hard time finding some pretty good seafood because I'm, I'm like right in the center of the state. Mm. But great seafood on the coasts. Did they eat? I've never been alligator? to a Golden Corral, dude. I have been. I to have a, had alligator. I have been to a Golden Corral. I've been to a Cracker Barrel as well. Oh man, I had a very shitty experience in Cracker Barrel the other day. Oh really? <laughs> <laughs> I did. I, mean, I don't expect the world when I go to Cracker Barrel, but I like it because it's cheap. And I was I was just running there with my mom and Babs, grab something for lunch. Oh, it was right after my. Uh, I had a gallbladder test recently, right, so I had yeah, to yeah. fast for like twenty four hours before. So that was I was breaking the fast there. And I was like, as I'm ordering, like I'm, I was like, I don't know what I want. I was like, you know what? I'm going to get the chicken. I'm just in the mood for like a little chicken cutlet with some honey. That sounds nice. And some mashed potatoes. And the lady taking my order is like, yeah, it does sound nice. 40 minutes pass and the food's all coming out. And she comes out. She's like, listen, we're all out of mashed potatoes. Oh, I was like, oh, well, this is not the best time to find out. But thank you. Uh, and then I'm like, OK, let's get some honey for the chicken. She's like, we're out of honey. What? I was like. <laughs> I was like, God damn it. I was like, hot sauce? She's like, we're out of hot sauce. I was like, what the fuck do you have? <laughs> like, this, I, I, oh, I got so pissed. She's just messing with I, I, legit, I legitimately, I was like, let me just get a box and leave it. <laughs> I just took my food home. <laughs> I had honey and hot sauce at home. Oh, that That's is crazy. Terrible. God. Yeah, Golden Corral is an experience. I can't remember. Is, is Golden Corral like a, a pseudo buffet? Yeah, it's a okay. buffet. I mean, it, it's... It's just lots of extremely salty food, pretty much. I feel like we, well, like I specifically live in a part of the world. I think mm -hmm. I don't even know where the closest buffet is. Legitimately, I think it might be when you take the ferry from Vancouver to Vancouver Island. There's a buffet on the boat. Oh, there's not really a lot around here. I think Golden Corral is the only one I've ever seen around I me. Can't. The last time I've been to a buffet was like probably a decade ago. It was a Mandarin. Oh yeah, okay. Ontario classic Mandarin. Nice. Mandarin. Uh, I think that's it. Yeah, they're not that as popular. I feel like I feel like our generation is way more about like paying less than you would pay for a buffet, getting a little bit less food but having way higher quality. Yeah. Yeah. If I go to a buffet anyways, I'm like a plate in. I'm like, mm -hmm. Yeah, you really don't need much more than like a large plate of food. Yeah. You know? Like it's, yeah. Like I do, uh, there there was a Chinese buffet I'd go to every now and again in New York just because I felt like, I was like, the quality was legitimately very good. I was <laughs> like, if I'm going to spend six bucks, I might as well get a little bit of everything I want. Six bucks? That's but, so cheap. That's very cheap. Yeah, no, it was really good lunch prices. I actually, but, I have uh, to, I have to say as well, I'm wrong. Corey took us to an Indian buffet in Delta, which is like a 40 minute drive, uh, uh -huh. like two years ago now. And it was extremely good. That was oh, yeah. legitimate. But it was also like close to 30 bucks a person, I think. Babs and I went to just kind of randomly. We were exploring Orlando last year <clears throat> and yelped like Indian food near me. And there was a buffet. but well, it was a restaurant walking distance. And when we walked in, they were set up buffet style. But 
it was really strange. Like, like the place was not all that great looking. Mm. And I felt like I had just walked in on a family eating dinner. <laughs> like, like the, everyone stopped and was just like, hey. <laughs> we were like, hi. But it was amazing. It was so good. I, I need to go back to this place. Oh, so the launch that might get scrubbed tomorrow night that we're going to see. Worst case scenario, I did grab a uh, <gasps> hotel room in Orlando. Oh, yeah. What you got? Ooh, it grows. There's a 15 next. Oh, my God. A 50. I don't have a sniper. I would use it for the joke. You can take whatever's in there. It's better in your hands. You sure? Oh, would yeah. Like I already AR got a three vest. I took the helmet, though, so I'll eat that. That's fine. <laughs> Do you want an AR comfy? I, I can't put it on this gun. No. Uh, I'll grab it. I, it's right there on the ground. If I you need want. a red dot, but that's about it. I can give you a red dot. <clears throat> Are you using it though? Yeah, but I'll use a hollow instead. I'll take whatever. I don't care. I Dude, just I, something well, what more do you than prefer, a... hollow or red dot? Oh, here. Let me. Did like, you take the fifteen? Legit X? either. I just have a two X on this. <laughs> I'll hang on like... to the fifteen X. Thank you, Brian. That's no problem. Oh, I got a four X. If anybody wants, I could definitely Brian. use it. There you go. In theory. Boys, send it. I do like a breakfast buffet, though. Um, I can eat a lot I, of cured meats before 10 a.m. I can get with it. Load up on scrambled eggs and stacks of hash browns. Hmm. In fact, oh, do we, I? I can't believe I didn't tell I this story as well. For right. Kate uh, was like, hey, we got to check out this, like, brunch place. That was last Saturday. And I was there, and the menu was pretty small. And so I was like, oh, I'll have chicken and waffles. That sounds good. Two waffles, maple syrup, butter, two enormous pieces of fried chicken, three whole potatoes, two sausages, and, what? like, a big bowl of fruit. I was, it was enough food that I actually was, like, a little offended as I ate it all. It's just, just it's like this is too much food. That's a lot of food. It was just like and it was like twelve dollars. So I was already mm -hmm. like it's relatively on the cheap side for a Vancouver brunch, and then it was like mm -hmm. a kilogram of food. But I was stoked. And after <laughs> I ate it, I was like, I'm so full. And Kate's like, Do you want my bacon? And I was like, Yeah. Yeah, of course. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, come on. God. <clears throat> I had an absolute meltdown in a hotel like two years ago because they were doing you know, continental breakfast thing as always. And I, I rarely get them. I'm a fan in the morning. I just want like a banana, maybe a grapefruit, an or like a single piece of fruit is okay. what I'm looking for in the morning. I got down there at probably like 9.01 in the morning and I picked a banana up and they like ran up to stop me. They're like, sir, breakfast is over. Oh my God. I was like, I was like, I just want to take a banana. And they were like, we can't let you do that. <laughs> like, you can't we fucking do that? I was like, I just got a fucking room here. I was here for two. Like, I just lost my mind. <laughs> I, like, never do that. That and is. They, they didn't give me the banana. I, I, like, immediately went back to my room, packed up everything, and left. That is Like, we were crazy. checking out anyway that day, but I was fucking fuming. I like I I, remember I they like emailed me over it and everything too like like we're sorry sir but like policy is policy <laughs> like you go fuck yourself it's a goddamn yeah, banana that's, that's stupid. <laughs> well, everybody knows the margins in the hotel industry are pretty small. You see it, dude? No, I'm taking out a tire. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Trying to. Got it. Do you want to name the hotel, by the way? Uh, I would love to. Remember, if it was if it was a chain, I would love to know. I truly can't remember. Okay, fair I, I don't want to like I don't want to accidentally shit on the wrong one. I know yeah. it was either it was either Hilton or Hampton. Okay, all right. I think they're under the same umbrella. I believe. I can't so. talk too much shit because I'm staying with them again. <laughs> different, <laughs> a different hotel tomorrow. So. <laughs> I'm a points carrier. I get that discount. Dude. They know they got me. My beef with the hotel industry, it's like you got, all right, Best Western, and then they've got like 10 trillion sub, like the Best Western Elite, Best yeah. Western Express, Best yeah, Western yeah. Comfort, Best Western Eat My Ass, Best Western, <laughs> like, and then they've got all these other hotel chains that they own too, and it's the same thing. Yep, yep. 
I do. I always feel like they can't be doing that well because anytime I go to check into a hotel, it's like here's the the normie line for Marriott customers, and then it's like here's the gilded Marriott Bonvoy line. And there's <laughs> never anybody in it, so I always get to go over into the VIP section. I get like illicit services for free. <laughs> yep. Do that with uh, airplanes too. You buy an e economy ticket, and at the last second, you can get the business class for like eighty percent off. Yeah. Oh my God! Look expensive. at this circle. I've never seen this. <laughs> <on this map. laughs> I think I saw a vehicle. Is our vehicle be... still close? We're gonna have to like get to the water and swim. I think. Oh, oh there's a vehicle I'm driving by. by. Yeah, yeah. Dude, that's such a banana circle. Is it like the lighthouse area? It's the, it's just the islands. Oh my god. It oh might still god. bounce back to like hard left on this shore. Cause I don't even know if the circles can end on those islands. I guess it can. It's wild. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> you guys don't want to go on the incredibly tiny island on the, the southwest portion? I mean, oh. <laughs> that little one right there. Yeah. I don't think you can even climb on it. It looks like it's just a big rock. I don't know if we get in and start swimming. I think we do. I'm swimming. I think we'll... I guess we just swim to, <laughs> swim Dude, to the island right ahead of us. What if we're the though? first people there? That'd it's going to be so good. It's going to be like a zombie movie. This is a long swim. It's going to take a bit. You no, know, I was thinking about the other day, you know, the movie 28 Days Later, which, oh, yeah. you know, uh -huh. as far as, like, I love it. Um, But I was thinking, you know, when he wakes up in the hospital. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And he's like, hello. <laughs> uh -huh. There are no bodies in all of freaking London until, like, he gets to the church. Yeah. I was like... That one threw me out. I was like, there would be bodies. The streets, I mean, they had just, like, debris. There was no blood or vomit yeah. or poop or anything. It was just, like, abandoned cars. Oh, there's a guy in a hang glider. Anyways, that's, that's, that's about that. There's hang gliders but... on this map, too? Yeah, there's a guy who's was uh, gliding over the, oh uh, kind of the cliffs by the shore, like, north of us. I had no idea. Can't see him now. I haven't seen that movie in a long time, but I remember enjoying it. It's very oh, yeah. good. I, it was like, yeah. I watched it again a couple of months back. Can I tell you? Twenty weeks that... later I... was. <laughs> I have a. Yeah. This is a very embarrassing story, but I mm. want to. I want you to keep in mind. <gasps> oh, real quick, there's yeah. someone swimming right ahead of me. They're gonna hit the island first. They're about to get on the shore. Just so you know. Okay. okay. You're right over there. I don't know. Do you want to do you want to pivot from this then, or they might not even look, or like they might not notice us. I'm gonna. So there's still there's someone like 75. They're they're swimming okay. like further up the shore right now, like to the left. Well, this oh, story okay. is uncomfortable, so it's gonna be a, a lot of fun. Um, okay. So I was like 13 when 28 Days Later came out. And mm -hmm. right after it came out in theaters, we had like a family dinner. We went to Swiss Chalet, as Malf will know. That's where you go um, oh, yeah. for special occasions in our hometown. And um, my aunt and uncle had just seen the movie, and they were talking about it. And they were like, yeah, it was really good. But there was like one scene that's like heartbreaking. There's like the guy and the two girls are at the military camp. But then it turns out the military is trying to like, you know, basically keep the women around for for grooming purposes yeah and as a 14 year old who was not smart enough to handle how intelligent he thought he was i was just offhandedly like well you got to do what you got to do in the apocalypse to survive right and then oh, no. my aunt was like what are you talking about and then i was like well i mean like obviously in like normal life it would be terrible but like in the apocalypse you gotta do what you gotta do <laughs> and it we argued about it for like half an hour and it uh it really dampened the vibe we got over it <laughs> we're we're okay but 
it was a uh, yeah. There was no. a lot of uncomfortable yeah. energy at the yeah, Swiss yeah. Chalet on Bath Road that night. Being thirteen, huh? Yeah, right. Like <laughs> you're like I got it all figured out. All right, I, I have, I'm on the shore by the way, and just kind of running straight there into the gunfire, other people. Justin. Yeah. <laughs> oh no, I'm running. I'm trying to get around these rocks with mixed results. Oh, I got knocked. Careful, mouth. Oh, no. Yeah, you got knocked from the north, I think. You, There's oh, people yeah. southeast shooting at us too. Dude, I had a great it's, piece it's... of cover too, so I'd just be be afraid. Dude, I mean, well, the, oh, the... I see him northeast. Yeah, he's running towards you, Justin. Here he is. Did you get him? I got one. I stole a downed boy. <laughs> all right, they're running because they also have to get to the next circle. I think they're giving up. Oh, oh no, there's people this way too. It's okay. I see that guy. He's not gonna shoot at me. Nope. That sucked. <laughs> <laughs> This is a very good movie, though. Yeah. Oh, I like yeah. it. The whole the eye the eye gouge thing, that's messed up. There's a guy, fifty of us. Fifty? Is he close? Uh, he's like a hundred meters. It, well, maybe not okay. quite, but. Oh, this is. We have to like jump off the rocks ahead and start swimming, but like, there's gonna be other people doing that too. Oh no! Is that you? Yeah, it's southeast. Ah, he got Shit. me. Yeah, he's kind of by the three trees. The there's two of them. Oh, that's beautiful. Get him, Dad. Oh, let's go. Oh. Yo, you oh. you killed Kate Stark, noted uh, PUBG professional oh, streamer. Dude. Wow. We follow each other on Twitter. You hear Don't that, Kate? Otherwise. That's why you don't mess with me in this <laughs> you game. You can't see me, go, Justin. Go. Oh. <laughs> I wanted to. I had to get one last look. No, I appreciate it, but I just. <laughs> I'm get sorry, the... Kate. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Ah, <laughs> uh, what were we talking about? Oh, Who's embarrassing saying? stories from. No, oh. not like this. It's okay. I got a little divot. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh. zero hit points. If we all die, it's not bad. It's good. Yeah. <laughs> Somehow. Just trust me. That was a fun one. Yeah. Yeah, that was my uh my like introduction to Godspeed You. Mm, East yeah. Hastings. That freaking song got stuck in my head for years. Dude, I was down there last night. Really? Yeah. Hey, I got promoted. <laughs> oh, <Deserved>. congratulations. <laughs> Beginner three. This is the one. I love this guy's haircut. You know, the shaved the right. sides and the the man, the man bun on the top. Yeah. Wish I could pull that off. <laughs> I saw a dude do that once where he had like hair, like his, he had a big bald spot like right in the top middle, mm. kind of. Okay. But yeah. he, he had, uh, so he grew it out and then he would just put it in a man bun so you couldn't actually tell. The old uh, Thoros from All Game right. of Thrones, bald with a man bun. It's a strong look. It's it's definitely brave. <laughs> <laughs> I will say, I feel like that's one of the underrated parts of uh, being bald. Mm -hmm. I'm trying. There, it feels like there's a good comparison, but it's like. It might not be the best hairstyle, but it's kind of always in style. It's like it's always like a seven out of ten look. Hmm. You're never if you go bald when you're I went bald when I'm nineteen. You're never gonna look back on an old photo of yourself and be like, "What was I thinking?" Hmm. At least with the uh, with respect to your hair, with respect to your clothes for sure, or your facial hair. <laughs> 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 I think you should grow some mutton chops, Ryan. Could definitely do it. <laughs> definitely could. Big old mutton chops. No, but I think you should. 
I don't know. I don't. Think I know so. you. I could. definitely had mutton chops at a point in my like late teens, and I regret them deeply. <laughs> they did know. not look good. You set a sub goal. No. Come on. It's my real life. <laughs> I think if I was gonna go beard, I I could do like a. Like an Oscar Isaac's kind of beard from uh, Ex Machina, Ex Machina. That's about it. That or like I really think the time is potentially right for like a little vaudevillian mustache. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a little tiny mustache. That's yeah, I, th I think that could work. We have company. Yeah, you got uh, three people. Okay. One veered okay. off, so you got two with you. I had a really bad, like, Hulkamania mustache a couple years back. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like, just for fun. Oh, boy. I, I, I had, like, several friends be like, I can't look at you in the eyes when you speak. <laughs> <laughs> now, if you got one on the ground floor of your building, I believe. Yeah. Oh, boy. Yeah, there's one in that warehouse. This guy's not happy with me. I only have three bullets left in my pistol. Go get him. <laughs> <laughs> I thought there was one. There's still a person, there. right? Yeah, yeah it could be. So oh, yeah, yeah, downstairs, downstairs. Being sneaky. All right, they're down. They still have more friends, but they might be in town, I guess. Oh! Behind that truck. Oh, let's go! He's done it. Let's go. Did you see that spray Did control jet? Yeah, I just saw a parachute. This, this is the one right next to me. Yeah, I just saw him in the window. I was gonna. <laughs> Sorry. I had to shoot. He's you. wearing your He's shirt. Yeah. He was wearing my shirt. I thought it was one of you. I was just staring at. I, uh... That was. Apparently, I watched him walk in there. A high-level bamboo slip. That's what my chat said. They say, you watched him walk in there. I have no memory of that at all. <laughs> <laughs> but apparently, that it. happened. I love it. Woo. CD. All right. There's no guns here? Never mind. Wax your face. Are there people that wax, like, proper facial hair? Because that seems like the worst thing of all time. Yeah, it seems needlessly painful, right? Yeah. Like, shaving's annoying, but it's not that bad. Yeah. I like I constantly forget like I'll, I'll I'll look in the mirror at night when I'm brushing my teeth and be like whoa what the fuck <laughs> when, when, did, when did this put that there <laughs> it, it gets real bad looking real fast gotta be on top of the trims yeah I had a friend I mean you know him mouth but we lived together in university he didn't grow much facial hair, uh, but when it started coming in in like second year of university, it only came in at the sides of his mustache, so like the corners of your lips, and mm -hmm. he just let it like he never did anything about it, and it just grew and grew and grew until he. There's had a car like, here. Hey, get back. I got him! Go! Let's go! Let's go! Good job, brother. Stop. <laughs> oh, oh, oh I, it's all coming back to me now. Take your gunslinger's formal jacket, please. Anyway, I mean, that's the end of uh, that story. He never really, I hope he's gotten the handle on it now, but he got like super long, wispy hairs at the corners of his mouth. Like the whiskers. end. 
Yeah. Almost like a catfish. Dude, let's go noodling. <laughs> I don't want. Excuse wanna, me. I don't want to go noodling. <laughs> That's the term. You take your. I know your, what it your, is. Your fist is and noodling? you shove it in their mouth, Justin. <laughs> Pardon? So you get ca get catfish. It's you one never... way to get catfish. That's how. Oh man, gets catfish. <laughs> I've never heard of this. <laughs> really? Yeah. There's all all sorts of videos on the internet, like dudes are shoulder deep in mud and just have their hands in these like little catfish burrows and then they just bare hand pull out a a whole catfish yep jesus it's, it's wild dude i'd be impressed if i saw that yeah it's heavy gun girl energy those are fake videos what are you no. what are you talking about Noodling is very real. Some of them are real. Oh yeah, I'm sure there's. That's fake, a coward's but... take. Yeah, there you go. They did it on Bon Appetit. It has. <laughs> oh, there you go. That's a channel with integrity. <laughs> yeah, someone in my chat said this implies Justin doesn't watch. It's alive with Brad, ah. and I can't. Admit, my my stream is like low key just a. My Discord, at least, is just a Bon Appetit fan Discord. <laughs> uh, just, everyone just talks about Bon Appetit in there. Like, I'm okay with it. I provide, It's fine. I like it. But if everyone finds out I'm a fake fan, they're going to leave me. I still don't think I've ever seen a Bon Appetit uh, video. I like their stuff. I, hear I, I was using their videos to make my hot sauce until I left out the crucial step of boil your fermented hot sauce and then poisoned myself. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, he does a lot of fermentation <laughs> stuff. Uh, yeah. it, like, it's alive. Yeah, it's alive is a good series. No, Ryan, no, have you it. seen the the ninja sandwich? I watched video? Uh, a clip. I watched a free booted clip of that. That's Bon Appetit. No disrespect. Bon Appetit. I did see him fail to cut that bread. Yeah. Okay, that and uh, and Babish are the two the two cooking content online that I consume. I did watch some. Babish recently because he was making Ramdan from Parasite. Yeah, hell yeah. I finally saw that too. It's very good. Green movie. Still gotta see it, but soon. It's a weird year for me with movies. I feel like I go years in a row without seeing any new new films. Oh, there's people in this town right out of us. Sorry, I'm so slow. No, it's fine. I'm looking at them and I'm gonna murder them. I missed. He's sitting completely still. Are they All right. the building he no? stayed completely still. Oh, I saw him. Yeah. Fortunately. He's right in front of this large house. I As soon as I shot him. Oh, went. no. I blew that. There's two of them, at least. Yeah, I saw the other one go into the... Um. So one's down in this tiny hut on my mark. They might run there to res them, maybe. Okay, hold on. I gotta figure out how to throw a grenade in this Yeah, one. they just went in there to res. Like this hut right one's, here. One's in this big house, too, looking out the windows. Let's go, bitch! Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Never peek from the same spot, amateur. Jeez. You tell him. He said it. Now watch this. I'm going to go prone with some bandages. Oh, fudge. That would have been real badass if it went in. It would have been. Oh, oh he got me. Yeah. <laughs> I wasn't ready! <laughs> He's in the house still, the big one? No, he was on the, the like, just the, the step outside of it. But he probably went into the house, I don't know. But he was right, right pretty much where I died. <laughs> I hit one in the house. I hit the house guy a little bit. I'm still pretty hurt. I'm going to try to take boosts and hope they just don't shoot. Oh, he's looking right at me. Yeah, he was. <laughs> I don't even think he, he knew he saw you. <sighs> Shit. This is brutal. No, they're not very good. I mean, like, I should have actually had the guy. I just. Oh, there's three of them. I'm going to lay back down and heal. All right. Makes when sense. they rush you, I'm going to get them all. It's perfect. It's almost too easy. 
If they have... How oh, would you see my no. feet? Oh, <laughs> he no. saw my feet. That's unfortunate. Oh, no. You, you don't need to need me, too. Oh, you saw him in the window on the left of that building, Ryan. Left. Yeah, okay, yeah. Nah, I guess... Oh, yeah, they're no. Moving. They're moving around. Just run for him, Marty. <laughs> no. You killed my friend. He's looking right at you. Oh, you hit him. Oh, let's go. Oh, you should lay your spike trap outside the door. Let's try. Let's try. I didn't think he'd peer under the steps. <laughs> oh my god! What was that? <laughs> <laughs> Justin, are you okay? Are you alive? Justin? Justin. Twitch.tv slash HC Justin. I think his stream went down. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, oh no. he's back! He's back! Oh, he's hello! Hello! Can you hear me? Hello! Yeah! Holy shit! I, I... wait. You Your can't hear me? spinning. I could hear you the whole time. Really? Yeah. I, I don't. It really. It sounded like there was an explosion, followed wait. by pure silence. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, my stream is dead too! <laughs> Mochi! Oh no! <laughs> I did think that maybe your house got struck by lightning. There was a more boom of sorts. Yeah. Justin, please come back to us. Can can y'all hear me? I can hear yeah. you. I can hear you. You can hear me now. Can, okay. Can. Yeah. Yes. Okay. I I wonder if you'll keep hearing me. I honestly, for a second, I genuinely thought you just you fell, fell over chair. and died. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was that kind of bang where uh, I thought yeah. that was the first thing I was thinking. Did I, he just like? <laughs> Was he leaning on his chair and he just went too far? They they can still hear me on Discord. Yeah, but you're connected. I'm not. I'm yeah, I know, my stream's dead too. Uh, so Mochi completely annihilated our <laughs> little desk that holds the router and modem. <laughs> no. He karate kicked off of it. He karate kicked off of it and everything <laughs> fell really hard. The button for the Wi-Fi probably got hit on the router. Let me go look. I'll be back in two yeah, seconds. Yeah, yeah, no you guys want to do a quick uh, quick duo? Uh, this will probably be my last one either way, so I can wait it out. Yeah, I'll right, wait cool. it. I yeah. will be right back. Oh, man. Put the router in a cage. <laughs> that was... That was scary. I was... Afraid because dying is against... TOS. It is his channel would probably get banned. Yeah. At least for temporarily. <laughs> <laughs> Did you we probably shouldn't even talk about it. Did you see the the clip of the head <laughs> Matt this posted? Not the... yet. I saw it pop up while I was streaming earlier oh. and it's like I want to watch this but it seems like maybe I shouldn't watch it on stream. Yeah, you definitely <laughs> should not watch it on stream, but Oh, oh yeah. boy. That was <laughs> That was bizarre. I could hear you the entire time. Man, like, that was weird. Only my upload got murdered by Mochi somehow. Mm. I yeah. Know. So I there's know a little desk. It has a modem, the router, the controller for my light system, and like a couple other electronic things. Like my my battery backup is over there. He found a way to knock the whole thing over. Cats, man. They're they're just they're great. <laughs> Yeah, no, it was Mochi, not Comcast for once. Oh, sweet. Finish on the new map. You want to go to Fraglanis again? Dude, send us. Love it. But yes, they, 
I would not recommend watching the clip Mathis posted on stream, but it is uh it's a it's a one of a kind Twitch clip, that's for sure. Okay. I'll uh I'll peep it after. It's a it's a very, very good clip. For the wrong reasons. Please at least describe it. Okay. A man does something accidentally. The end. That's that's as close as I'm willing to get. <laughs> <laughs> No, it's not shard. Oh, no, it's not a shard. <laughs> I'm just picturing still, just like actually. So once, oh, b like before streaming days, I was sitting at my desk <clears throat> and fell backwards out of my chair, and my desk was a little folding table. Oh, no. <laughs> so I completely kicked the desk like up and onto myself. <laughs> it was just it was a catastrophe. <laughs> it was absolutely horrible. I definitely, I'm trying to think, I had a, one of the cats threw up on me on, uh, on round mm. table one time. Yeah. That was pretty gross. Oh man, just speaking of just random gross things. Yeah. Uh, we were doing laundry the other day, Babs and I <laughs> pulled out some clothes and, uh, Greeted by a small mummified fucking frog. Oh my god! What? <laughs> Clinging to an article of clothing. Oh, that's, oh, it that's so sad. It, it was. It was. Babs was devastated. I got a sticky boys. He was very upset. Oh, oh you my go. god! That's horrible, dude. <laughs> I'm mostly yeah. laughing because it just that's that's real gross. <laughs> yeah, but also terrible. distressing. Washed all the clothes again. That, that makes perfect sense. I don't know how these frogs keep getting into the house, but I find them fairly frequently. <laughs> oh, there's another sticky up here. It's all yours. There was one day we were watching TV and suddenly Mochi came running into the room with a fucking frog hanging out of his mouth. <laughs> it was, we were like, where'd you get that? Put that down. And the frog was okay. We let him outside. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we used Mochi to live did not in bite the, too hard. We lived in the country. Maybe like every, maybe once a month, cats would get out and they would uh, surprise you by bringing like a rat to the front door. Oh, yeah. But they would, yeah, yeah. they don't really like just kill it. They toy with it for a long time as well. Yeah. They kind of mm -hmm. like half play with it while it's in agony. <laughs> and you're like, well, on the one hand, like, you know, I want to put this creature out of his misery because it's kind of, well, the writing's already on the wall. On the other hand, what am I supposed to do with his rat? Yeah. Am I supposed to yeah. pick up a rat and then like break its neck or something like <laughs> what are you doing? Is it like shoot it? I don't know what you're supposed to do with it. Uh, Get like man. a stick and just hit it really hard. Like, I, is it, I don't deal uh, well I, with that stuff, honestly. Yeah, I don't know what the I don't know what you're supposed to do in that situation. I remember I had a cat once bring back a like a small rabbit, and was kind of like tearing it apart on the back stoop. Like it was like it was too late. There was really nothing to do. To do. This is when I was young. I was probably like 13, I think. But my friend who was over started bawling out of control oh, no. and being like, I'm going to fucking kill that cat. And I was like, dude, oh, you yeah. can't kill my cat because it's hurting a rabbit. I'm sorry. That's not how this goes, dude. This <laughs> is uh, Animal Kingdom. It's, uh, it's pretty jacked up. <laughs> But I'm actually like happy. Our cats are so domesticated; they're completely useless. They they cannot, like the expression "can't hurt a fly." Literally, is like they they cannot manage to hunt the fly. Are you sure, dude? They've never they've never been able to catch an insect in our home. Well, hold on, Justin. Oh, okay, he's got it. What if 
you unleash a hundred flies in your home and then see what happens. I think they might have a chance then. You should. I think you should do it and make a video. A TikTok. TikTok, YouTube, Instagram. Uh oh, uh, guys, uh, five. Oh, I'm so far back. I'm coming though. Oh, it's muted. My bad. Yeah, they're, they're both tapped at least one time on that hill. Oh. I hate the 2x with the passion. Okay. I gotta heal. I'm almost dead. <clears throat> yeah, I gotta heal too. Oh, I hit one for sure. I fell victim to panic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I fell victim to panic. Oh, I got one. Uh, oh, I got a smoke. I got a smoke. Hold on, Ryan. All right, thank you smoke them. You. We got one uh, down on each team, so they should go for him. <clears throat> this nail another. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. I hate to say it, you got a first as well. I could. Uh... Oh, I knocked yeah. one, boys. Oh, let's, go. let's go. Okay, the other yep. guy went on the other Thank side you. of the mountain. He's gonna have to come back to get his buddy. Okay, I'm gonna start running up at them. Okay, the down guy is like ten of me. Ooh, someone from behind shooting at me. This is my time. Yeah, there's two teams, I think. Nice. Um, I think that was the same guy. I just, I don't know. I got a heal, but I got like no heals. So you down the guy close? No, I down the guy like that was north. Um, okay. I can't remember if it if it was his buddy. I need that guy's. Oh. Oh yeah, that's where. Oh, it's the that's same. They was... got rest. Oh no. Did they get you? They did get me. It's pretty deserved, honestly. What else is new? Okay, I got it. I got it. <clears throat> Ooh, that's real bad no. <clears throat> He's running is up he... on me. Okay, I got this, boys. He died face down in the dirt. <laughs> Come at me, bro. <laughs> no coffin, just wet, wet mud. Oh, you got him running scared. He's like, oh my god, I can't hit this guy. He's too good. Oh, no. Oh. He's got the fear in him. He's got the fear in him. Yeah, 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 yeah. They are the little, the dumb waiter. No. Oh, I hit him. Oh. Shot his elbow off. Another guy shooting at me. Oh, oh no. <laughs> nice try. Three yeah. hit points. Yo, I got 23 hit points. Yo. Oh. All right, GG. boys. I'm uh, I'm moving on. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, Justin, why don't you take some time to to promote yourself, to self promote? I would love to. I am HC Justin. You can find me Twitch.tv slash HC Justin. Twitter it's HC Justin with two ends because it's bullshit. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> streaming every day except Tuesdays. Uh, if you want to hang out tonight, I'm going to be playing Trials Rising with like six or seven other people here in about an hour. Uh, so for the next hour, I'm just going to spend that time making my bike boy look real pretty. <laughs> Give him a good, nice new outfit. <laughs> and, uh, that's about it. Thank you for watching. Appreciate it. Yep. How about you, Melf? Uh, Twitch.tv slash Michael Fox and Twitter and YouTube slash Michael Fox.
Uh, Monday to Friday, 10 a.m. EST. Uh, and Saturday, we do 12 hours at 12 p.m. EST. Stop on by. If not, you know, still have a good life. No hard feelings. Um, yeah, it's about that. Uh, well, actually, I've been playing through Control on Friday, so if you like oh. that game, uh, we're, it's fun, and we're doing it. So, cool. Cool beans. Good game. You play that, Ryan. Yeah, yeah I heard I that was will. great. I My will. buddy Dave's name on Discord is Play Control. <laughs> so, <laughs> I know he endorses it. No, that's not like a coincidence. It was actually, like... He made the name for the game? Yeah, yeah, for the game. He changed his wow. username to that. Badass. Right on. Well, thanks for, <laughs> honestly, the carry. That was it was nice to get a win. <laughs> it's yeah. always a pleasure. Yeah, my, yeah, it was my pleasure, Ryan and Justin. <laughs> Later, boys. Have a good night, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. I, there was one round. We got two kills. Don't forget about that. The guy was sitting there. I had the micro Uzi. Barely fits in my hands. <laughs> got him guy comes along in a car didn't hear the car at all to be honest justin goes there's a car targeting computer turned on it's the road rage dude someone does something bad on foot won't hit him someone does something bad in a car like a laser beam tucka 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 dropped him um so i gotta go check if we're doing our co-op stream i believe we are i believe it'll be don't starve together that's my expectation right now that kate and i will be playing don't starve together uh which means i think i would probably stay live during that to be honest now that i think about it um so you know what let me uh let me put on my overlay for a second and i will go see what's going on with my wife and i'll be right back in the meantime i'll hit you with Sorry, I muted myself mid-sentence. I'll hit you with a little bit of uh, Life is Beautiful by K.K. Slider.
Hello, I'm back. I'm gonna keep the camera off for a second because I'm eating peanut butter straight out of the jar like a rat. Just some quick calories. If it's gotta be done, it's gotta be done. It does have to be done. I've got no other quick food. For now. Are we going to be sent? No, I'm going to stay live. We'll, uh, we'll squad stream. But she might need a minute to get set up. I will send her a squad stream invite. Doing any cool streams on Friday? Thank you for the segue. Apollo's Mario Maker League starts tomorrow. I'm live. I think I'm live at 4.15 p.m. Central Time. I have to look at the document if you'll give me a moment. Just give me a moment here. I am live... 4.10 p.m. Central Time. Which is 2.10 p.m. My time? Yeah, 2.10 p.m. My time. That's correct. I'm playing against Mathis week one. That's a tough matchup. Mathis, he knows what he's doing in Mario. It's debatable whether I know what I'm doing. But I know that Apollo only makes Super Mario World levels. So my physics are, they're going to be on point. I'm not worried about that. I have not practiced Mario Maker, I'll admit. Who do you think I am, Malf? Malf's getting roasted for his Donkey Kong Jr. strats. Oh, Nova Soda, thank you for following along with the superlatives video. Much appreciated. Don't starve. Wait, hold on. I didn't change my info here. Playing some Don't Starve. Don't starve together. With at lovely Momo. Let's see what people on the Reddits are saying about Malf's performance in Donkey Kong Jr. Oh, wait, here it is. I just want to say, I don't think Malf should get disqualified. I know that's what happens w when you, someone uses resin, that they get disqualified. Hello. 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 How are you doing? I'm doing well. How are you doing? 